had gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here! Time to start talking, Dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. We can't keep this up forever. Perhaps we'll be lucky and they'll run out of Darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I give them a taste of my blade? Allow me. There's no end to them. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. Well, what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew him even before he became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where he is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to him, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. The Blight had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. 
You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at me? I've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your brother. Then let's go. Lead on. Wait. Where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. <sighs> then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Can't we talk about this? No! <laughs> Not while I breathe. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The Order dictates. Wesley. The Order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order. But I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. So long as the Horde is their first concern. My duty is clear, but that is for another day, if we are granted that opportunity. We will be fine. We all will. For a while, it looked like we were the only ones to escape the Darkspawn. We aren't free of them yet. You didn't see Ostagar. This is just the start. You were there. Yes, I see it now. Third Company, under Captain Varrell. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. The wrath of the Templars is... terrible indeed. More so their wives. But as long as there is a greater danger, you and I have an accord. Thank you, Wesley. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. Be strength. Bethany! Bethany, wake up. The battle's over, we're fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your daughter is gone. No! 
These things will not take Bethany. Maybe we should grieve when we're safe? Don't speak to me of grief. This is your fault. How could you let her charge off like that? Oh, my poor little girl. My sweetheart. If we stand here weeping, the Darkspawn will take the rest of us too. Allow me to commend your daughter's soul to the Maker, mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young woman a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace she has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Bethany. At least father will have company now. Flames. We're too late. There's no end to them. Got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Impressive. Where do you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. So you're just going to leave us here? And why not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> I dare say it is. Such a clever tongue for a mage. Tell me, clever child. How do you intend to outrun the Blight? We're going to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. So far, simply to flee the Darkspawn. Any better suggestions? I hear the Deep Roads are vacant now. <laughs> oh, you I like. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight. And the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Should we even trust her? We don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. 
Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? What is a Witch of the Wilds, exactly? A chastened legend. Witches that steal children. Bah! As if I had nothing better to do. Then you're an apostate. Yes. We have so much in common. You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered? I have... an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you are not without your own needs. How much trouble will this delivery be, exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. Good point. <laughs> if you knew my daughter, you'd know how seldom I hear that. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Roast a few more Darkspawn, I'll do anything you want. Sadly, my charity is at an end. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. No, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. This corruption is the permanent sort, I take it? The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. He's your husband, Evelyn. I can't decide his fate. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. 
two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the City of Chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. letting anyone into the city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. Are we really surprised? Everyone's fleeing the Blight. Just as we are. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be. Back in the Imperial days. They kept slaves here until the Rebellion. Now the Templars run it, and use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed, huh? Are mages imprisoned here? Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted. But he's sure never taken that chance. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Gamlin? I know that name. 
He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only gamblin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! And here we go again! Unbelievable. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? I am. No thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not? Don't look now, but I think that's our man. Leandra! Damn, girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it. And drastic guide her. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Would it help if I said you were my favorite uncle? <laughs> It'd make me feel better, but that's about it. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But... what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's... um... gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? Let's go to another city. This was my home. I can't believe they won't let me come back. Every city on the coast's been hip-deep in Ferelden since the Blight. You could try your luck further inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. We're not putting Mother through that. We came here. We're staying here. Let's hear it, Uncle. What do you have in mind? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. I'm sure we'll be free and clear before we know it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Carver? What can I say? Better here than nowhere. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. 
<laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. Are you a Fenril? He must be Gamlin's nephew. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Uh, how much exactly? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. Begging and taking your pick never went hand in hand. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. I didn't realize Gamlin had told you that much. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars, so they let him set up his little shop here in the Gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. Greetings once again, Sarah. Have you come to trade? I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Ethenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. This has all just been a misunderstanding, hasn't it? You think so? I do. Don't you think business partners deserve a return on their investment? Enough, enough. I'm tired of fighting over this. Here, take the key for the chest. That should be enough to pay that witch. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. That should do it. You could have given us something more challenging. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. No more running for our lives unless we really have to. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So he remained, paying off his debt, made a name for himself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the Champion. No! I'm 
Andraste's tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're... No! You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. You need us. We fought Darkspawn. Look, precious. I don't care if you tore the horns off an ogre with your bare hands. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. My brother has a point. It's on his head, but it's still valid. Oh, thanks for that. So what about it, Bartrand? We're just what you need. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Well, back to waiting for someone to turn us in. You can relax. After all, the Templars dogging us are mine. Did I sound that bad? Maker, I'm turning into Gamlin. Gamlin? He's got a head for this garbage. Maybe he can talk to Bartrand. He knows some people. After last week, we need all the coin and influence we can get. You catch more flies with honey. But Gamlin's bullshit could work too. Well, he did get us into the city, right? What else can we do? We're losing ground, and I don't fancy waking up in the gallows. Hey! I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you? You don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. How do you do? Merrick Tethras, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would? I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The Deep Roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So, as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my brother as well, then. A little, yes. But it is you they speak most of, Messer. That figures. Your brother is certainly welcome to join us by all means, but I'll leave that in your hands. Oh, I'm going. Without this expedition, we won't last out the year. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. I hope there's more to this, like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. The Dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. 
Certainly better than ending up in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? There might be nothing down there except darkspawn and rubble. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping at strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the deep roads are so old, even the dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there, then Bartrand will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. You named your crossbow. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know, and I'll be the last. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. You're asking for a guarantee? I don't know that I can give you one. Look, I know the Templars have been asking questions. How terrible would it be to get out of the city for a while? If this works out, you'll be wealthy enough that the Order won't be able to touch you. You need the coin, and I need your help. We need each other. I can't make it sound better than that. It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job, and you'll have the money in no time. Sure. Easy. But... Maybe Aveline's got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the Hanged Man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Barak! Where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand. So suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. There's so much love here. It's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. I'm still figuring that part out. And how about you tell me when that happens? Until then, you're not much of a partner. Relax, Bartrand. Have I ever let you down? You don't want me to answer that. Bodan Fedic, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> A kindred soul, surely. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true rogues. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine man. After all his accomplishments, may he find even greater success. Ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The favored dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. 
Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. I like enchantment. <laughs> and he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? Let's see what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. Hard to believe they left me nothing. Well, Mother was pretty steamed when you ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm still their daughter, their eldest. My children have been in servitude, servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. You mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. And here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was read, it went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. I know the Amels were nobility, mother, but not much else. Why don't you ever talk about them? The Amels have been a noble family in Kirkwall since Garahel drove out the Fourth Blight. But we've always carried magic in our blood. It's been a stain on our lineage. No family of good standing would ever marry into a line with magic. When I chose your father, I was bringing more magic into our line, not less. I think that's what hurt my parents the most. Did Grandfather mention Mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in short pants, lad. You can hardly expect me to remember. Oh, of course not. Why should you do something reasonable? That touched a nerve. What's in there that you don't want us to see? Nothing. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. What daft bastard leaves that behind? It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamlin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. Maker, what a mess. I want to make things better for Mother. But some of what Gamlin says, I'm having a hard time hating him. Playing caretaker for someone else's life. Stuck in their shadow. That's no way to live. And there it is. Look, if you want to join the fight over who lost the most, fine. But I never lived here. Mother even gave me her old key to try and stir something. But I didn't know Grandfather. Finding his will doesn't matter to me. You want a connection? This is where we'll find it. The once mighty Amels. A bunch of slavers are squatting on that dusty glory. What have you heard? Uncle's a chatty drunk. He was up to his neck and signed everything over. That's who has the estate. Apparently, the most extensive wine cellar in Kirkwall is now a slave highway from the Undercity. That's the family legacy. That sounds like an arrangement that needs to change. And what if it does? We still aren't important enough to actually live in the place. Baby steps, Carver. All right, brother. If the key works, we'll clear the estate from the Undercity up. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. That's it. What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. 
A person in your position seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartran can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking, but if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Lorene has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. Do you ever feel like you're part of a story that someone's telling? Maker, I wish whoever was telling the story had made me more handsome. Are you answer? Ah! Sweet mother of Parth, you can't just run up on someone like that. Are you? The human the Fenril told me about? The one looking for work? Did you think I was going to attack you? Oh, no, no. Uh, all right. Hope not, anyhow. My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling lyrium to the Templars. Maker's breath. Between the Chantry, the Carta, and the Coterie. <laughs> By the Paragons? Not so loudly? My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Make it worth my time and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. We're under attack! What a surprise! <laughs> They were clearly expecting someone. Anto's goods are probably in that chest. It's empty. Waste of bloody time. Who put us up to this? I guess we have no choice but to go back to Anto and tell him. That's not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. 
Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave! <laughs> a slave. I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. Don't worry. We do this sort of thing often. Impressive. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, Anso chose wisely. Everything Anso said was a lie, then? Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house. It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You're expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. You didn't need to lie to get my help. That remains to be seen. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. You lured me into a trap, and now you want my help? If Anso had told you to divert an ambush of Tevinta bounty hunters, would you have done it? Good point. Had I known of you earlier, I might have asked you personally. I had only Anso to rely on, I fear. I'm not lying to you now. Please, help me do this. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Daenerys wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Kunari mage, a personal pet to mock Kunari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. No one has left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Daenerys may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. I could stand to know a little more about this Daenerys. He is a Magister of the Tevinter Imperium. Oh, is that all? Nothing to worry about, then. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. We shouldn't wait any longer, then. Agreed. Daenerys, show yourself! <laughs> he sends spirits to do his fighting for him. Daenerys, can you hear me? Your pets cannot stop us! Gone. I had hoped... <sighs> no, it doesn't matter any longer. I assume Daenerys left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I... need some air. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of yet another mage. I saw you casting spells inside. 
I should have realized sooner what you really were. Tell me then, what manner of mage are you? What is it that you seek? You want me to tell you and spoil all the fun? You are skilled. I know that much. If you have a problem with my brother, you have a problem with me. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. You didn't seem all that thrilled with me a moment ago. You are not Daenerys. Whether you are anything like him remains to be seen. Are you going to have a problem with my companions? I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> the truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys's choice, one he now regrets. You've said Daenerys is a magister, but little else. In Tevinta, the magisters hold all the power. Over the Chantry, over the Imperial Court, over life itself. It is nothing for one to own a slave. Daenerys had many, but none he valued so much as me. Then how did you get away? Is it not enough that I did? I carved my path to freedom in blood. I left that life behind. Yet his bounty hunters follow me no matter where I go. I will run no longer. Do you think your master will keep chasing you? He is too proud not to. Perhaps one day the hunt will cost him more than he is willing to pay. But I doubt that matters any longer. I've seen some of your abilities. Do they come from those markings? Some. All I know is that even in the Imperium, warriors such as myself are rare. Perhaps they believe I should feel honored. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. I thought all dwarves had beards. Where's yours? I misplaced it, along with my sense of dwarven pride and my gold-plated noble cast pin. I thought maybe it fell onto your chest. Oh, the broody elf tells a joke. I don't brood. Friend, if your brooding were any more impressive, women would swoon as you passed. They'd have broody babies in your honor. You're a very odd dwarf. And you thought I was joking about the pin. So, where's your beard, elf? Elves don't grow beards. Huh. I thought maybe you shaved it off in a fit of broody peak. So you're a funny dwarf. So, elf, that uh, thing you do with your hand... I can already tell this isn't going anywhere pleasant. I bet that makes pickpocketing easier. I'll try it sometime and find out. I understand you're named after a famous knight. Everyone always brings up the name. I've not heard of Sir Aveline. Is she very famous? Really? They don't tell of her glorious downfall into Vinter? Not to slaves. Pardon me for saying so, but thank the Maker for that. You do not like your name? My name is a wish my father made, and I did want to be a knight, but... I see. Still, it's a good name. A strong name. What were you named after? I don't know my real name. My master called me Fenris, his little wolf. Could you not call yourself something different now? Couldn't you? <sighs> A fine point.
Are you safe, Fenris? No. You know, some guards give people the opportunity to lie if it will keep the peace. You can see what I am. Lie to yourself if you must. Egregio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. I can't imagine why they would be put off. You say what's on your mind. I'll give you that. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. There's more, if you're really interested. Perish the thought. How else would you redecorate the walls? <laughs> hmm. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I grew up in Ferelden. It will always be my home. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? I have to admit, it's an attractive idea. But not now. I understand. Still, to have the option... must be gratifying. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but... There is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. Maybe it's just me, but it sounds like you want to stick around. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Yes, you should. Had I known Ansa would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. You sound like you're about to ask for a loan. Well, this mansion does require some upkeep. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit? With any luck, I'll become better at it. You're very different from other elves. Oh? You know them all? No, I, I just... You look different. There's no denying that. It is what I am. And unlike the problems you claim to have, I really did have no choice. Do we know anyone who isn't brooding every hour of the day? Like attracts like, it seems. So this master of yours wants your markings back? Skin and all? So his hunters told me, unwillingly. So why not cover them up? Wouldn't that make you harder to find? Let them come. I am not one to hide. Still, if it were me... It's not. You know, Fenris, I have a tattoo. You have a what? A tattoo. A lot of us got them before Ostagar. It's a Mabari, for strength. Does it curse you with the ability to reach into a man and tear out his insides? Uh, I can make it bark. Please don't. Uh... So you've really never thought of hiding from those hunters? To what end? So you could, I don't know, have a life? What life do you have? There are no hunters after you at all. 
I have a life. One that you complain about. We are not always free to do as we wish, as you should well know. I do have a life. Then I stand corrected. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. You should be paying us, Uncle. We found the will. Grandfather left everything to Mother and us. I guess he had some sense after all. See for yourself. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter Leandra and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. We have a home, Mother. A real home. They forgave me. Mother forgave me. But... Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is! You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? If it wasn't for the Blight, would we ever have come back here? I always thought I would. But... I suppose you three are Ferelden to your toes. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. So, what? Are you here to gloat? Gamlin's the idiot again. Gamlin's the fool who can't hold his money when it's given in a bloody silver basket. I tried, you know, when Leandra left. But no one was ever going to live up to her. What was she like? As a girl? We're only a year apart. But that was time enough for Leandra to get our parents wrapped firmly around her little finger. They showed her off at every opportunity. The beauty, the scholar. The light of their lives. As far as they were concerned, they should have stopped there. I've seen the nobles in this town. Your parents must have had a fortune. Where did it all go? Well, it's not like I stood at the side of the wharf and hurled it over. I tried to invest it. I got some good tips on trade in Kunari cheeses. And, you know, a man's got needs. I'm not denying I spent more on myself than I should have, but I figured it'd all work out. So, the best way to make Daddy love you was to steal his money? I changed their filthy sheets and wiped their chins through two bouts of the cholera, and the last word Father said was... Leandra. I'm not looking for love, but at least I got the money. Keep it down, dog. All that noisy dog breath, day in, day out, make him stop. Well, pardon my dog for breathing. If you think you can stop him, be my guest. <laughs> there. Isn't that annoying? <laughs> ah, blight take you. Hello, Lord Carver. We're still a long way from cowing Templars with our titles, brother. You could slap on a smile for a few days, for her sake. She's not interested in what I think. She wants to provide for us, and you're making sure it happens. And when we're done, I don't know, I guess we'll sit around thinking about how great we used to be. Mother didn't even want that life back until we got dumped here. And you only care because we're under Templar scrutiny. 
You hating everything I do is really losing its charm. Sure, make light. Why take anything seriously? You're the eldest. You lead by default. I don't see you taking the reins. When should I do that? When I'm following you around, or, or when I'm caring for Mother while you tame mighty Kirkwall? Besides, we both know what happens when someone leaves dear brother's protection. I'm sure Bethany would appreciate that you're keeping good humor. Fun's fun, but you're taking this little pissing match too far. What? You don't like someone making a joke out of everything you are? I don't see the humor in digging up Bethany so you can hide behind her, too. Well, good talk. Brother. I feel... I don't know. It's like Mother taking everything out on us. She was just scared. I don't have a place in the life she is trying to bring back. I'm here if you need me. But I must find my own way. When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father, she threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. The estate is yours. Why are we still here? Technically, the house is now property of the Viscount, since its owner died without an heir. If we went there now, we would just be squatters. But if the Viscount acknowledges our rights, we can get back more than the house. We can get back our name. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you, all three of you. Oh, Bethany. She was such a sweet little girl. Never cried. Just looked at you with those big eyes. Bethany would want you to move on, Mother. Be happy about what we have. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down and... 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. At least you're past the it's all your fault thing. I'm sorry, love. I was distraught. I never really believed that. It's just... I... I miss her. There were four of us when the blight began. It will never be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I have an audience for after Bartram's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Bethany. But with luck, I can at least give us a home. this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? Strange occupation for a warden. Aren't you more about taint and death, not healing and salvation? Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pouncelot. He hated the Deep Roads. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the Deep Roads? He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. 
Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. I have a warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andraste said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. I doubt the Divine would agree with that. The Divine is only a mouthpiece for the Chantry. The Maker does not speak through her. He doesn't speak through you, either. Never mind. I do not seek debate. Only your aid. I'm not sure about attacking Templars. I might rather take my chances with the Darkspawn. If we fight the Templars, it is because they decide that anyone who befriends a mage deserves death without questioning. Doesn't fighting them prove their point? They don't need more reasons to hunt us. These are my terms. If you want my aid with your expedition, meet me in the Chantry tonight. I have sent word to Carl to be there. Make her willing, we will all leave free men. Did I hear correctly? You are an abomination. Why don't you shout? I don't think everyone heard you. Do you see yourself as harmless then? An abomination who would never harm anyone? Like ripping someone's heart out of his chest? I did that at the behest of no demon. So we agree that it doesn't take a demon for someone to be a vicious killer. Good. You ever going to stop harping on the mages here? No. They aren't what you saw in Tevinta. The moment they are free, mages will make themselves magisters. They're slaves. You should want to help them. I don't. So, there must be mages in Tevinta who don't use blood magic. Of course, there are slaves. The magisters do not hesitate to collar their own kind. But no magisters. Why must you go on about this? No magister would turn down an advantage over his rivals. If he did, he'd be dead. You know, to use blood magic, you need to look a demon in the eye and accept his offer. I just figured some of them would say no. For aesthetic reasons, if nothing else. Why was your friend made tranquil? Do you know? No. And it doesn't matter. Nobody deserves that. I know some mages who deserve that. Really? Perhaps they should start making slaves tranquil. Then they wouldn't dream of escaping. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Slaves do not attract demons that try to possess them. Which clearly justifies it. What a perfect solution. You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. Tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? <laughs> I didn't think so. My, and here I thought the only men in this place were besotted fools who couldn't hoist the mainsail. When you talk about hoisting the mainsail, what do you really mean? What else could it mean? It requires strength, knowledge of rigging, and a small measure of sobriety. I know my way around rigging just fine. And I'm good with my hands. Oh, my. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. 
You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. I even met the hero of Ferelden, if you know what I mean. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. Can't anyone fix their own lives around here? Must be something in the water. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. Who's this person you've arranged to meet? His name is Hader. We worked together back in Antiva. He's never liked me. He's been asking about me all around Kirkwall. Thought I'd get it over with and meet him face to face. You wanted information from Lucky. What was it? I asked Lucky and his boys to track down something I lost. They failed to do it. It's nothing to worry about, and this is much more important. Why a duel? <laughs> I like duels. It's what I do. And if I win, he'll be dead. Problem solved. What makes you think I'm right for this? You saw me talking to Lucky, didn't you? Those boys couldn't manage simple information gathering. I can't trust the riffraff in this place to do anything right. But you, you're different. I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. Hey, who are you? My, you're jumpy. Look at you, cowering in a corner. What happened to the fearless, dashing raider I used to know? I'm not a raider anymore, Isabella. I'm just an honest merchant now. Please, Martin. You wouldn't know honest if I tied you up and spanked you with it. You tie him up, I'll go find some honesty. Very funny, Isabella. You said you could find me help. This is the best you could do, eh? Looks like we're not needed here after all. Let's not be hasty. I'll take what I can get. I enjoy a man with markings like that. You've enjoyed many, I suspect. Where I come from, they're called tattoos. Sailors get them all the time. Not made of lyrium, I'd imagine. <laughs> not a one. And the pictures are different. Usually breasts. I suppose a pair of lyrium breasts tattooed onto my chest would make things better. That's me. I'm a helper. So this relic you mentioned losing... You have pretty eyes. I have pretty eyes. You elves have such pretty eyes. Even the men. It makes me want to pluck them out and wear them as a necklace. I wouldn't suggest trying. Oh, I would never try. Not without reason, of course. Forget I said anything. So what's with that magical fisting thing you do? Um, sorry? You know, when you stick your hand into people. Oh, that. Yes, it's, uh, talent. You could make so much coin with that. This one time, I was sailing to Lemeron, and there was a fight between two of my men. It was over a dice game, or the last piece of toast or something. Sailors, they're touchy about their toast. Is this going anywhere? It will if you let me finish. So, there's a knife fight, and Jim ends up with a broken off blade stuck in his shoulder. It's buried deep in there, and we're out at sea at least a week from the nearest port. If you were there, you could have reached in and plucked that blade right from his flesh. That's your whole point? Pretty much. So you freed a group of slaves? Would-be slaves. They weren't slaves yet. Still, you did the right thing. Many would turn a blind eye. Don't read too much into it, all right? It just seemed a good idea at the time. I shit you not, Ravani. It was this big. <laughs> There's no way. Impossible. I've had hundreds of those in my hands, and they're never that size. Would I lie about something so critical? What are you talking about? 
We're discussing knives, of course. Well, daggers, technically. I never remember the difference. <laughs> Why? What did you think we were talking about? Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. What's a Shemlin? It is the elven word for human. It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. Who are you people? We are the last of the Elven. So you say, frequently. We remember who the people truly are, even as you city elves forget. I'm not expecting tea and cakes. I just need to see someone. There's nothing here for any human. Wait. This is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought he'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari, I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There is a light in your heart, human. Don't let it go out. You will need it. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. A dragon fell from the sky, charred some darkspawn, then asked me to bring you this amulet. No big deal. You are blessed by luck, then. I will pray that Mithal watches over your path. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain, and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. That seems a little odd. It is her wish, and I must grant it. You will find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shiral. I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anathera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. We didn't get a proper introduction. I am... Or was, I suppose. The first to keep a Marathari. I've studied the old ways for as long as I can remember. I know things. The law of the Dalish that can help us get to the summit of Sandermort. You seem awfully nervous. You're only the second human I've seen up close. Last time was not a happy memory. A Grey Warden took away one of our hunters to fight the Darkspawn. I heard he fought the Archdemon. I wonder what's become of him. You'll have to work harder than that to offend me. My name's Hawk. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? I miss the cold, and the dirt. Kirkwall's not brown enough for me. But hey, no darkspawn. Ferelden wasn't that brown. The dirt and muck gave it character. We should go. Your task is for Asha Belena. It's not wise to make her wait. What do we have to do with the amulet? It's a funeral of sorts. I'll perform it when we get to the mountaintop. 
Getting there is the tricky part. Our hunters haven't been able to reach the summit. Dark things are about. Do you know the witch who sent me here? No. Not personally. My people tell stories of her, though. You're very lucky. Most people who meet Ashabella now wind up in little pieces. Hanging from the trees. Let's get this over with. The Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. I imagine it's difficult to give away something nobody wants. All Keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a Keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. Please, keep turning skeletons into toads for us. But I never... Uh... Right. Not literally. Happy to help. I've done a little fighting before, but it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. I can open the way forward. One moment. Magic. Foolish. Very foolish. Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? The barrier is gone, certainly. Nobody ever denied that blood magic was useful. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathan, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara. The endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. Aharin Amalana Salin. Emma Ira Albella Zeviranan. Isalahamin Vinanhim Tofilas. In Uthanera Narivas. Ah, and here we are. A witch. It's all right, Fenris. She means us no harm. Andarana Tishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. You are no simple witch. Figure that out yourself, did you? I have seen powerful mages, spirits, and abominations. But you are none of those things. What are you? Such a curious lad. The chains are broken. But are you truly free? You see a great deal. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. You have plans, I take it? 
destiny awaits us both, dear boy. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. Are we going to regret bringing her here? Regret is something I know well. Take care not to cling to it. To hold it so close that it poisons your soul. When the time comes for your regrets, remember me. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Master Anas Ashabelina. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. Masarana's child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Darath Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. You remind me of Harin Pyvelvaric, only younger and shorter, and not as serious. So, it's a close resemblance, then. Well, he tells stories, and you tell stories, although none of his begin, No shit, there I was. I'll have to give him some better stories, then. I heard Varric saying you were a Grey Warden. I was. Did you... did you ever meet a Dalish Warden? A Herial? As a matter of fact, I did. Do you know him? He was one of my clan. I'd known him almost all my life. I keep hoping to hear some news. I wouldn't get your hopes up. The hero of Ferelden values privacy rather highly. So pounce a lot. Who knighted him? Is that a serious question? Did he have a little sword or just his claws? I bet he had a dashing cap with a feather in it. Would you stop making fun of my cat? Oh, no hat then. Why are you watching me like that? You have Valasleen. The same markings that the Dalish have. Yours are not made of lyrium. No, they're made of blood. Our blood. That's what Valasleen means. Blood writing. It's a mark of adulthood. Mine were carved into my flesh against my will. In a ritual I remember only for the agony it caused me. I'm... so sorry. I don't want your pity. Are you talking to me? You said you were sorry about the ritual I endured. Keep your sorrow. I only meant... You have all the freedom none of our kind enjoy, and you throw it away. And what? Our people need to reclaim their heritage. A heritage of defeat? To what end? Would you truly turn your back on your own history? There's so much we don't know. It's not my history. It's simply history. You've probably never met a Dalish before, have you? I wouldn't know. I'm sure you'd be able to tell. Dalish aren't much like the elves in the cities. The smug sense of superiority does give you away. Certainly your people have stories about the Dalish, no? My people? The elves in Tavinter. They must have heard of us. They've heard. They just don't care. But if they run away, the Dalish would help them. You might as well say. If they flew into the sky, they could live in the clouds. What would they eat in the clouds? There's nothing there but fluff and the occasional bird. This is why nobody takes the Dalish seriously. 
I've heard about the Circle of Magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for you to be here? Oh, I'm sure nobody will notice little old me. Don't you worry. Very reassuring. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the Circle I know. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinter. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered the south, but not the north. The Magisters eventually surrendered to the Chantry, but they did so on their terms. They kept their influence. Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. You talk about the Magisters as if they are all evil. I have no doubt that some are good and noble men, strong enough to resist temptation. But how many temptations do you wish to offer a man before he will give in? Blood magic is everywhere in Tevinter, from the lowliest apprentice up to the Archon himself. You can't have seen this for yourself. <laughs> Daenerys talked about it often. Of course they say it's forbidden. Behind the smiles and closed doors, however, it's a different matter. To be a Magister in Tevinter is to be glorious. To be a powerful Magister in Tevinter, that is worth any price. You're saying the same thing could happen here? If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers? Of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do, and then they are lost. You're saying that locking mages up is better? All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. Power corrupts, as they say, and mages have power enough already. According to everything I've seen, the Circle can't control mages anyhow. And what is the alternative? Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. Ah, welcome, my dear friend, to Sol's shop. My name is Solifitus. Please take a look around. My apologies in advance. Our shelves are a bit bare at the moment. Actually, if you're interested, I could use a bit of help to remedy that. Remedy that? Potions shop. You, my good man, are priceless. The pun wasn't intentional, although I may use that next time. More mages. You talk. I'm going to ask the guards about their training. I know your face. I am Tobrias. You and that man are both hawks. I remember your father. Malcolm was a good man. My father must have left quite an impression. The letter I found was ancient. I needn't tell his own child how special he was. As to the letter, it pained me to send news of the Templar's death. The Templar? He allowed your father to leave Kirkwall. Rule is not served by caging the best of us. A wise man. Not what I would expect from a Templar. There was a time when the rules of the Order could be interpreted to suit a situation. Unlike these days. 
I will send the letters I held. It seems fitting that they return to family. Such a friendship. Few like your father remain. Even fewer like the Templar. Rest well at the Maker's side, Sir Morivar Carver. Here, I got you something. Why? I'm not holding you back with generosity. Just have a look. These are by father. Are you sure they aren't meant for you? I bet another mage could get more out of them. For your service that cannot be admitted, I ask that you accept this trinket and know that I shall respect your name. Thank you, Conscience of the Order, Sir Morivar Carver. Carver? The Templar who allowed Father to leave Kirkwall. Your namesake. A Templar? Have we met a Templar who isn't a colossal prig? Father must have felt he was worth honoring. A man who let him look ahead. And a name that would always mean skill thoughtfully applied. Seems like he thought it held some promise. Not a link back, but how to go forward. That's what I was to him. I don't know what to say, except thank you. So, I've been dying to know, what was going through your head when you fought that ogre? For the first few seconds, what do they feed those things? <laughs> I don't know anyone else that's even seen one. You're lucky just to be standing here. Somehow, Hawk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you. Constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake. A lot of things can keep you awake, you know. I wouldn't reach for the doom first. Sure, I could have a cup of tea in the morning. But I hear it's bad for you. I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the deep roads. So, this will be... let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Great. Now we're adventurers. Good job, Lord. In fact, get rid of any other groups like that, and I'll be at the Hanged Man with some toys as reward. Courtesy of some... interested friends. I never meet anyone normal. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? You should pay someone else. Like me. I like being paid. If you can find Ninette, I will gladly pay you. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. I can't imagine why she might run away. <sighs> yes, yes, my wife and I don't get along. But that's not the important thing. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Ninette keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. Huh? It wasn't always like this. We were in love once. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, 
I wonder if I dreamed those years. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores. Until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Serhan. Business appears to be good. Mind you, I imagine demand is fairly constant. And here we are in the brothel. My day is complete. The difference between a courtesan and a whore is... Well, their shoes are nicer. I don't think anyone's looking at their shoes. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. Ferelden, are you? We are not a charitable organization, Sarah. If you cannot pay, you will have to take your lonely self elsewhere. Is that clear? Disgusting. Two sovereigns for premium service, one sovereign for standard service. Fifty silver and someone may touch you. Briefly. I'm not interested. Of course you aren't. Poverty had nothing to do with your decision, I'm sure. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Oh, I like him. He reminds me of someone. Can't imagine who. I can see why Nanette liked you. You're feisty. <laughs> A refreshing change from the pale slug I married. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Do you think Nanette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Do you have any idea where she might be? Well, uh, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Any chance Nanette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> anyway, if Nanette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Someone else Nanette spent special alone time with, perhaps? She always liked men in uniform. You could ask him yourself. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. Who? Av... Aveline? <laughs> You're a beautiful sight. Guardsman. I mean, I, I was on patrol and they came out of nowhere. I took a few down, but there were too many at once. The captain said this route was supposed to be quiet. The seal of the Viscount. Office details, city accounts. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. Captain Jevon will answer. Selling out his own. Forget guard, Captain. This man needs to be in government. Not now, Hawk. Jevon needs to see how justice works. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The Captain likes his thieves so much. Let's see if they welcome him in prison. This is private property. There's a fire on the other side of this row. Get help before it spreads. What? Don't you hear the screaming? Are you deaf? I don't hear anything. Shit! A fire could destroy the loot. We have to check. But... Come on! Not bad, Hawk. Not bad at all. Greetings, Sarah. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest Antivan steel to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? I have never had that privilege, Sarah. My poor wife. 
She's back in Antiva and cannot see me often with my travels. Let us not ruin the day with such weighty thoughts. Perhaps I could show you my silks. We're not Templars, Sarah. Fenriel has nothing to fear from us. Maldición, you are a mate. I suppose you'd be kind then to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? To an elf-blooded child abandoned by his human father? Of course we would. Yes, evidently so. The boy is in over his head. So why send him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages? A former Templar named Samson. Why would a Templar help him? His conscience plagues him, having served the Templars too long. He now helps mages on the run. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him. Are you the Templar who's pursuing the boy Fainriel? I did not realize his name was known so widely. And I didn't know we would announce it to a Templar. Perhaps your friend knew him in the alienage. Not every elf lives in one of your cages, Templar. Are you a friend of his? Have you met him? What is he like? From his mother's description, he sounds much like any youngster we bring to the Circle. Frightened of his gift, resentful at losing his freedom, convinced he is the one exception to our laws. Hardly someone you would wish the power to murder people with his mind. No young boy should have to face down demons alone. It is surprising what sympathies mages evoke. I always expect people to be more wary of their powers than touched by their struggles. Not all of us are. If we do not find Fainriel soon, it will not matter. Either he will be taken by the demons, or by less mystical predators. And I have said more than enough on the topic. This is a Templar matter, and we will be handling it. Seems like you Templars could use all the help you can get. True. It is surely not in the lad's best interests to turn away anyone who seeks to find him. There is a Templar, a former Templar, by the name of Samson. He left the Order due to philosophical differences. He has been known to help mages flee Kirkwall. If Fainriel went to him, Samson wouldn't tell me. He stays out of sight by day, but I've seen him at night, near the entrance to Darktown. Why, look here, boys. Volunteers. Clap him in irons and let's see what the Tevinters will pay for him. Make him talk. I can do that. <laughs> Andraste's great flaming ass! How did you do that? Never mind, I, I've stashed the boy in a cave, a smuggler hideout on the wounded coast. Tefinters will be by to finish the deal today. Now, c c can I go? Sure. Uh, oh, wait. I meant no. Ha! Looks like they took him to some bolt hole in the wounded coast. I wonder if that's near the injured cliffs, or the limping hills. Massive head trauma bay. No, just me. Forget I said anything. Good day to you. Have you seen him? Karen, was it? No. There are many Templars in Kirkwall, woman. Please, can you help me? My brother. Don't worry. Helping people and killing people are what I'm best at. Uh, I, I, uh, hope there will be no call to kill anyone, Sarah. Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. So, you think the Templars... what? Killed and ate your brother? Maker forbid. I don't know what happened. He just stopped writing me. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. 
They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Maker bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messire. Probably for the best, brother. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The Knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. You're already defying orders to talk to me. Might as well share the good stuff. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Sounds brutal. And effective. Seems to me a weak Templar would die just as quickly. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. Can you tell me anything else? Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmot. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. I've got some good news and some bad news. What? What is it? Good news. Karen is safe. Bad news. Half of your recruits may have been possessed by demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. D demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... They were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Mages have been systematically abused by the Templars for a thousand years. How can you say that after what you've seen? Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. Yet also true. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. I admit that does reduce their bargaining position, but there must be some middle ground. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps mages need better education as to why the Chantry functions as it does. Perhaps they would not go against the will of Andraste herself. I will look into it. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He is not to blame. But tell that to the victims if it turns out that our suspicions are correct. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. A wise choice. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. I hear you're in need of a bit of help. Ah, so you're the reinforcements the Magistrate promised. The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little Shemlin children he's after. Look at these guards. I doubt either of them has to worry about having pretty children. That's not what I meant. The man you're after, he targets elves. He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her! I want him dead! My girl, Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, my name is Elrin. I'm a merchant in the city. Please, no one else cares that our children are being slaughtered like beasts. 
I'll tear his throat out myself. Thank you, Sarah. You have no idea what this means. For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these Shemlin. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. What do you say about all this? They won't go in after him. They're stalling, trying to give the murdering bastard a chance to get away. Oi now, elf. Like we said before, you're bleeding mad if you think we'll be going against the Magistrate's orders. This murderer cannot be allowed to walk free. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not wise, stranger. You try to take justice into your own hands, the Magistrate will have your head. Better men have tried, and failed, horribly. Who are you? Please, can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Leah, your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Who is Kelder? The man who took me. How did you escape your dastardly kidnapper? Kick to the groin, sand in the eyes, rock to the head? Kelder? No, he let me go. I tried to make it to the entrance, but I hid when those creatures showed up. I thought I heard him calling for me. I almost went back to him. I didn't want to be eaten. But Kelder, he was... He hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. I didn't think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just started crying. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. I'll have to remember to use that. A demon made me do it. There are a lot of cruel people out there, Princess. Completely demon-free. But it's true. How else could he do something like this? She is a child and does not understand. Her pity is admirable, but misplaced. Kelder is dangerous, Leah. If he fights back, I can't promise he won't get hurt. He won't fight you, I promise. Run to the entrance. You'll find your father there. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. You wanted those creatures to kill you. Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart, forgotten down here, not protected by my father. From the Magistrate's vague description, I expected a hardened criminal, not a whining coward. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me, and what I've done, hidden away. Not hard enough, so it seems. The Magistrate's more worried about keeping his job than doing his job. Father is a good man. He tried to help, to stop me. But he can't. No one can. That elf girl... She had no right to be so beautiful. So perfect. The demons said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The Circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. Leah said you told her to run. Why? I was... crying, and she asked me if I was all right. After everything the demons made me do to her. She was concerned about me. How could I let them destroy something so good? So pure? Let me get this straight. You torture and murder elven children for being too beautiful. I... I didn't want to hurt them. They force me. The demons don't like it when they cry. I'm not getting paid enough for this. I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. He sees the truth of it. Allow me to grant his wish, if you will not. Any last words before he kills you, Kelda?
Tell my father. I'm sorry. You saved her. My little girl. I didn't dare hope. Did you find that monster? Is he dead? We could bring him back as the undead and then kill him again. No, that's all right. I'd rather he stay dead. I didn't believe an elf could ever get justice in Kirkwall. I speak for all of us when I say that we are in your debt, Sora. I feel just as bad for those knife ears as the next man. But ignoring the Magistrate's direct orders, that's madness. Let me pass. I have business with the Dwarf Javaris and your Arishok. The Short Mouth, yes. Enter if you must, Basra. Ah, my right hand arrives. Summon your era, Shock. The bargain is done. About time you showed. I've been here for hours. Ari Shokost. Maras Chokra, Anan Isamkun. Look hewn from an elf. The madness of this place. Tell me that helped. We shall see. Yes, well, that said, I'm here to report that your hated Talvashoth were felled, one and all, right? Yes, they were. So, I'm ready to open negotiations for the explosive powder, as we agreed. No. He's not getting it. Make your chatty elf say something. Any insight that would help? Kunari, do not abandon a debt. I humbly request clarification from the Arishok. I have a growing lack of disgust for you. The dwarf imagined the deal for the Gatlock. He invented a task to prove his worth when he has none. Then we have wrongly inserted ourselves in your affairs. Would you have us kill this dwarf? Wait, what now? If you face Talvashoth, he is not worthy of dying to you, as he was not worthy of dying to them. But you, you keep good company. Let him live, and leave. He had big plans for your recipe. I was supposed to get a piece of that. Dwarf, did your imaginary bargain make promises on my behalf? I... Uh... Expected your wisdom to be more profitable. Then you will pay on my behalf. It's not at all. Take your coin, take whatever. Hornhead oxmen and mongrel dong lords, suck your own powder and blow your head off. Sod it. You will leave as well, human. There's no more coin for you here. Here, miss. Word is, you're looking for help. And paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley, and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. She has chosen poorly. Can you save someone so intent on being foolish? Nice to see you too. I thank you for coming. This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety who will not link this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. Time is wasting. Who is going where? My name is Sister Patrice. I have assumed a burden of charity. 
This is my charge. Shiva Da? Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts? I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people. Or being seen in my care. You don't just stumble on something. Someone like this. For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Tavashoth. They seem to accept the role. Even their rebels conform. Savonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. And you think this mage was being hunted? I am certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. Will he help? If I trust him at all? I don't know his capabilities, or if he can function at all in that collar. But I think he knows we are his only way out. You think? He's followed every direction and made no aggressive moves, even when taunted. Were I in his place, I could have fled. Kunari or not, I can only assume he wants to be led to freedom. I've had dealings with a Kunari leader. He'd want to know of this. You have dealt with their leader? If you have interacted with Kunari, you know how they treat those who leave their heathen order. The Arashok would doom this poor creature. But knowing them is useful. If they challenged you, attacking an ally would only confirm their barbarism. You are still right for the task. You're not interested in who you might be hiring? If you were important enough to know, I would need someone else. But if you insist? What is your family name? My name is Talk. Strong. Very Ferelden. The Canari have hardly pressured the southern nations. You have not seen as many converts or those who refused. If this action, if any action, can lessen their influence, it must be done. I can get him out of Kirkwall. He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. Better out there than here with the Templar. Why would they do this to him? This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own. But only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you were hired. Good luck. Katojan, is it? You need to be led out of the city. <laughs> I don't know if he understood you. I know I didn't understand him. It has been difficult to get information, but look at him. Would you want this? We must have that in common. Ah, look at this. Undercity's feared by all, but there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. What is this thing? Collared like a dumb lord's bitch. He's some sort of canary lover. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who'll pay the most for your pet. <laughs> uh, I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? You lot think you're so damn right. Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers. You want us bound, like this thing. I'll see you dead first. By the void! Kill it! Kill them all! They get the idea, Kunari, Katojan, whatever. Calm yourself! <laughs> you did what I said. Did I hit the right phrase or something? <laughs> he may not know himself. Did you react because your lead was threatened? <laughs> I know that kind of blind instinct. It is hard to judge how much control he has. You can't gesture or, or stomp your feet twice for yes or something. 
Why does that woman think he wants to leave? He's just... sort of a great lump. I'm getting you out of here before you help again. Still clear as a bell. Great. You will hold Basra Vashidan. I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members of his Karatom were killed by Talbashoth, but their disposal leads only here, to Sarabas and you. I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Sarabas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basra. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Sarabas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? Sarabas, show that your will remains bound to the Kune. <laughs> he has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. You don't care that someone abused your dead to get you here? No doubt they were cast from your shoulders as you or your partner thieves grew weak. It is a crime whose victims are beyond caring. It will be dealt with, but the greater threat is clear. It is my role to secure Sarabas. It is the role of another to purge the perversions of your kind. He is bound and abused, and you want him caged. Why? The power that he has, that all Cerebos have, draws from chaos and demons. They can never be in control. So you fear them? Just like everyone. We leash Cerebos because they are dangerous and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. My job was to get him out of the city. If he wants to go back to you, that's his business. You show an unusual ability to reason, Basra. Sarabas! Nera Akun Ebrakata Avarad! <laughs> you are certain? <laughs> Then we will do it here. Basvaran, you led well. I thank your intent. Panahedan, as you find the Kune. You should be honored by this action, Basra. It is his last. I knew it! Damned horned heads! He lost his lead. The risk of corruption was certain. But he has owned his death by honoring you. He knows the Kune once more. As will you. You got what you wanted. Why try to fight me now? An uncollared Cerebos spoke to you. You were already exposed, but there's no way to know what demon may have written his words. Killing you is demanded, but the respect of Cerebos has granted honor. Be grateful. Not every neck earns the ceremonial cut. I dislike this place, but that dwarf, especially so. Why do you bother me, human? The dwarf paid you, there is no more. Your kind thinks selfishness and want are normal. 
This city, all of it, leaves a bad taste. You don't want to talk? We won't talk. Hold! Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You turned from me. Do you turn as easily from all this chaos? My welcome to the city was not so different from yours. And yet you suffer it. It's an opportunity to make a real difference. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. Could you, could not this entire city benefit from that certainty? How else will you know when you have made a real difference? Sorry, I find myself distracted by deny and die. And yet you accept the random violence that plagues this nation. I wonder if the weaker of your citizens would be so close to certainty. Our role may have to change. If the Kuhn demands, I suspect we are done, human. I've had confrontations with others in your command. There have been a number of incidents, but you must mean Arvarad, found dead after tracking Cerebas. I thought nothing could threaten Arvarad. You are not angry. A mage is dead. That is what matters. The rest is impressive, but do not repeat it. I believe a member of the Chantry intended it to happen. Friend and enemy blend together in this sea of filth. I can barely discern one group from another. But as this clearly means something to you, I acknowledge the risk taken. Cerebas chose death over leaving the Kuhn. That is good to hear. That is all you have to say. I will not insult Cerebas with the suggestion that making the right choice was difficult. I expect as much from every Kunari. I doubt Cerebas earned a greater honor in his life than my reaction now. Farewell. Panahedon, human. Found your mystical hoard of coin yet, human? I do have your coin, in fact. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? Didn't I tell you we could find a Grey Warden? Mother didn't raise a fool. Well, she didn't raise two of them. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one, and go! Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready, and we'll head out. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. And let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover darkspawn from the Blight. Big risks, big rewards. Risks, rewards, what could be better? Exactly! Now, before we... Wait! Who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf. But I need to speak with my children. Mother, no. We talked about how important this is. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Carver with you? I can't leave Carver behind. I need him. 
I'm going. It'll be fine. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand, wanting to do this. But leave your brother here, I beg you. I said I'm going. Besides, if we're so bloody afraid of Templars, I should go and he should hide. Well, you're not gonna be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. Carver, I beg you. Don't go. Don't do this. Don't worry about me, so. I can take care of myself. You'll see. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await! No, this can't be right. The Champion was an apostate who came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The Champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friend did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me he is innocent! I don't know if innocent is the right word, exactly. He must have known. Somehow the Champion knew what was down there. That's why he wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had, he wouldn't have let his brother step foot into that blighted hole. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the Deep Roads as planned, but... We didn't get very far. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. What am I paying you blighters for? Set camp! <laughs> Problems, brother? Starting deep roads? Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path? Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Varric? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. See? This is why you bring someone like me along. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine. Fine! Find a way around. Just do it quickly. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Ah, I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago. I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. We'll bring him back in one piece. Or maybe two. Hard to say, really. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly, then. Well, I'll be a Nug's uncle. Isn't that Bodan's boy? Hello? <laughs> it is. The great warrior stands victorious. I'd really like to know how you managed to kill all of them.
Boom. And how did you do that? Not enchantment. Smart boy. Ah, here we go. This goes right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand! We found a way around your damned cave-in. It's about time. Let's move out! Holy shit. Is this what you were expecting? I thought. An abandoned dying, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. You found him! I can't believe it! You found him! Hello? I owe you a great debt. I will repay it somehow. I swear my life on it. No need. I'm glad Sandal was all right. Because of you. You will not regret this. You see what I'm seeing? Is that... Lyrium? It's definitely magic. And not the good kind. Doesn't look like any kind of lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartrand. An idol made out of pure lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. You could be right. Excellent find. Not bad. We'll take a look around, see if there's anything further in. You do that. The door! Bartrand! It's shut behind you! <laughs> you always did notice everything, Varric. Are you joking? You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? It's not just the idol. The location of this tiger alone is worth a fortune. And I'm not splitting that three ways. Sorry, brother. Bartrand! Bartrand! Oh, I swear I will find that son of a bitch. Sorry, mother, and I will kill him! Oh, let's hope there's a way out of here. Whew. The rock wraiths are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Looked pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. Let's see if there's something that can help get us out of here. Hmm. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> this part of the Deep Roads looks familiar. We're back where we started. And in only five days. Not bad, eh? Think we could... take a break? I feel wrong. I think all our stomachs are a bit tender right now. <laughs> I'll wager it was those deep mushrooms we found. No. It's... Carver! It's the Blight. I can sense it. Just like that Templar, Wesley. I'll be just as dead. Just as gone. That's just like you, keeping this to yourself. I thought it was nothing. 
Hoped, anyway. Idiot. I'm not going to make it. Not to the surface. Not anywhere. It's getting worse. There might be something we can do. I stole the maps from a warden that had come to Kirkwall. I wanted to know if he was looking for me. He wasn't. The maps were for planning their own expedition into the deep roads. Way to keep it to yourself, Anders. I was trying to avoid them. And you just wanted the maps. If the Wardens are here, I know where. We could bring Carver to them. And what? Become a Grey Warden? Is becoming a Grey Warden a cure? Yes, I suppose it is. But it's not without a price. One not everyone is willing to pay. What price? Maker's breath, spit it out! The process of becoming a Warden is... unpleasant. An irreversible. It also means you might never see your brother again. He might survive the Blight, but at the cost of becoming a Grey Warden. It's not an easy life, trust me. What about you? You're not a Grey Warden anymore. You think I got away? Eventually they or the Circle will drag me back. I've got no illusions about that. Is this even possible? How does someone become a Grey Warden? I can't tell you. But it's not something you can undo once it's done. Even if you want to. This just keeps sounding better and better. They might agree to it, however. That's if we can find them in time. I don't see any better options. Then I hope I'm right. Hmm. What's wrong? I think they're nearby. Or it could be Darkspawn. Anders. Fancy meeting you here, Stroud. I could say the same. I thought you were through fighting Darkspawn. I'm not here to fight Darkspawn. I came looking for you. You mean, the boy as a recruit? Of course you do. I'm sorry. I know this comes as no comfort to you, but we do not recruit Grey Wardens out of pity. It is no kindness. Carver happens to be a fine warrior. You'd be an idiot not to recruit him. Be that as it may, I cannot. Stroud, trust me when I say this one is worth your time. With the blight over, you Wardens don't have recruits lining up. This is no simple thing, Anders. This may be as much a death sentence as the sickness, and you know it. He'll die anyway. Take him and try. I'm asking you. If the boy comes, he comes now, and you may not see him again. Being a Grey Warden is not a cure. It is a calling. Are you sure about this? I'm not sure about anything, but I want you to live. We must move quickly if we are to make the surface in time. Then... I guess this is it. Take care of Mother. Home sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartran came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Luck hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. This is true. I'm sorry about what happened to your brother. He'll make it. Carver's stronger than he thinks. I should have seen Bartran's betrayal coming. I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to, uh, tell the family. I don't have much choice. You'll be a wealthy man, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. Oh, my baby! You made it home! Carver is with you? No. Is he coming back? I don't know. 
So the champion's brother was a Grey Warden. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? The involvement of the Grey Wardens makes perfect sense. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that Warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who he was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. The Grey Wardens left Kirkwall. It was months before we learned Carter survived. Three years later, the Kunari still hadn't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I can't help it if I make an impression. Apparently not. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Have the years been kind to Seamus? Uh, he is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. 
I am always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Seamus, wasn't it? The Viscount's boy. You're here rather often, Sir Arhawk. A good influence, I think. You started something, helping me as you did. I still accept no blame for defending Kunari. And I don't miss the kinship of the people who oppose what I believe. The Arishok asked for me. I think they're a headache, but so are many people. And you've already treated them with more grace than most. Mere existence should not be an offense, no matter how they challenge the Chantry. Not when some of their ideas are so... compelling. Oh, there you are! I've been looking everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same! We can't all be short and bearded like your people, Bodan. Indeed. It's quite a shame, really. I came to deliver this to you. The last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the deep roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Quite well done. So you raced here just to give me this? Oh, I didn't want to be responsible for so much coin. Just holding that purse was making me sweat. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bodan. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion when you have a chance. You've settled in nicely. It's just luck. And skill. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... So, how can I be of service this time? Someone's trying to be a guard. Poorly. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help. ...and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... ...investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected... ...and he won't be quiet. Muzzle the geezer. Got it. I would never say that. But if it leads somewhere genuine... ...I'll pick it up on your word. If he shuts up, that's good too. He's in the gallows. Thanks, Hawk. I appreciate it. I like the doggy. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. Hey, looks like they're having a nice chat. <laughs> Maybe Sandal picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. Just don't go all pompous on me, all right? 
I promise. If there's one thing I learned in Ferelden, it's that good people can be born in a hut as easily as a palace. Honestly, after so many years as a peasant's wife, it feels strange to have nothing to do. But I can't spend the rest of my life mourning Bethany and Carver. They're gone, and I can't bring them back. I guess I just need to start finding you a suitable wife. Those elves you're friends with, they're rather strange, aren't they? Didn't Fenris say all to Vinter wine is made from the blood and tears of slaves? I hope he was exaggerating. You should really post some guards outside your estate, considering all the trouble you get into. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. I suppose after the whole business with Carver, it's a good idea to hang on to what you've got. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. Oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. You know I can't stand to see a human cry. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Uh, who, who are you? I'm here to report Sir Conrad. I know him. Did he do... something? Or something? One moment. Are you well? Oh, it's just the you know, it's hard to think sometimes. But I will do my duty. If you've seen something, um, suspicious, let me know. Last night I saw Sir Conrad sacrificing a goat to the great demon. Then he howled. Loudly. What? Demon? Oh, yes. He was carrying on about how much he wanted to do demony things. What? No. I tell you, that Sir Conrad must be an abomination or something. This needs to be reported. I can't believe it. I thought it would end here. Young Master Hawk destroyed Flint Company. None remain. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. My... Hawk? We were just talking about you. Carry on. I love to eavesdrop. Hawk said sarcastically. You know I hate it when you do that. Hawk muttered in an angry aside to the dwarf. If, uh, you two have a moment, I've learned who hired Flint Company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. They were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. Tell me about this family. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. His daughter took over the family, Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Any idea why they turned on you? Money? Power? It's hard to say. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. This is why the cycle of violence never gets broken. You jest, but that's the truth. Give this up, Sebastian. Dedicate yourself to the Chantry as you swore. I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself a target. Why is everybody looking at me? I don't know why Choir Boy here didn't yell Hawk to the rescue. That's clearly what he was going for. If this allows Sebastian to make peace, it is worth doing. You've taken on lesser causes. Please. I have no one else to turn to. If you like... I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry. Are you an Andrastian, Fenris? If I say no, will you attempt to convert me? 
Many elves believe in the Maker. I ask only because I wonder if your experiences soured your faith. My faith was never strong. It's difficult for a slave to have faith in someone who abandoned them. The Maker didn't enslave you, Fenris. He didn't help me much either. And yet you stand here free. Perhaps he helped you more than you think. The Maker didn't free me. I see you've been thinking about what I said. I freed myself. If the Maker did anything, he watched. Why should I thank him for that? Is it so hard to believe the Maker cares for you? Maybe he gave you the chance to escape. It doesn't feel like the Maker cares for me, or anyone. We all make our own choices to do good as well as evil. That is our doing, not the Maker's. Perhaps. It's been a long time since I gave it any thought. It's not too late to start. Were you ever dedicated in the faith of the Chantry? I have no memory of my childhood. Daenerys had no desire to teach his slaves anything that made them think they're worthy beings. I'm sorry. I can't imagine how difficult your life has been. No, you can't. Whether you were taught it or not, the Maker has room at his side for every soul, even yours. You know, Fenris, as a brother in the Chantry, I'm allowed to hear confessions. Why would you tell me this? I know Daenerys made you do things. I thought you might be more comfortable talking to a friend. You should know. A murder committed under duress is a sin on the one who ordered it, not the one whose hands carried out the deed. Have I not spoken enough of my past? Does everyone in Kirkwall wish to hear every sordid detail? Sometimes it's painful to speak, but it's the only way the wound can be lanced. You know, when I return to Starkhaven, you're welcome to come with me. And do what, exactly? You're a fine warrior. If you could train men to fight like you do, we'd be unstoppable. I'm no leader, and I doubt humans would want me training them. Then why not train elves? I bet there's plenty who would admire all you've accomplished. I... haven't accomplished anything. No? You are your own man. Living as you see fit, you give yourself too little credit. You are being kind. Not at all. Think about it. Your grandparents would be so proud of you. When I was a girl, the Amels were one of our most prominent families. I'm glad to have one of their line in the estate again. How can I help you? You knew my grandparents. I dedicated your mother into the Chantry. She was a beautiful baby. Your grandmother was a very proper lady, but she was beside herself that day. And your mother put a fist in my eye. Are you intending to stay neutral about the Kunari and mages forever? The Maker's time is not men's time. We do not need to rush. <laughs> I'll have to remember that line the next time I'm late. The Chantry is not a domineering father with the whip always in hand. She is a gentle mother, who knows her children learn best when allowed to learn themselves. Sarah Hawk. Yes? Last we met, I did not know your name. Did not care to. You have changed your fortune over the years. The Kunari have not. I offer a courtesy, Hawk. Someone has stolen what he thinks is the formula for Gatlock. You will want to hunt him. Excuse me, but this sounds like quite the feat. It was allowed. The stolen formula was a decoy. Sarkamek, a poison gas, not explosives. A small amount is dangerous enough to your kind, but if made in quantity, perhaps by someone intending to sell it. That merchant, Javaris. Would he be cautious? Or would he assume success and make enough to threaten a district? A courtesy hawk. You will want to hunt him. 
Any idea where we can find Javaris? I heard about a sell-off. Merchant territories and such. They don't do that unless someone left in a hurry. I'd have figured he'd rook some noble. He's sure not a burglar. Just tell me where he is. I haven't kept up on the squirt. Ask the coterie. Panahedon, Hawk. I do not hope you die. So, I was wrong about our thief. You'll get used to it. They say we were careless with our trap, that this is our fault. But even without the Sarkamek, there would have been death. This elf was determined to lay blame at our feet. But your feet didn't do anything wrong, did they? I admire conviction with a focus, but your kind are truly committed to weakness. Why aren't you more concerned about her supporters? Our enemies strike from shadow because they cannot stand before us. This is not a revelation. And it doesn't matter. I am not here to fight. I am here to satisfy a demand you cannot understand. It's taking long enough. It will take as long as needed. No ship is coming. There is no rescue from duty to the Kuhn. I am stuck here. You could have built a ship by now, you know. It is not about a ship. Filth stole from us. Not now, not the Sarkamek. Years ago. A simple act of greed has bound me. We are all denied Parvolin until I alone recover what was lost under my command. That is why this elf and her shadows are unimportant. That is why I do not simply walk from this pustule of a city. Fixing your mess is not the demand of the Kuhn, and you should all be grateful! Thank you, human, for your service. Leave. And some ribbon. You keep staring at me. Is it my eyes again? You're very lanky for an elf. I like lanky. From what I gather, you like a lot of things. Nonsense. But when I see something I like, I go after it. Do you intend to go after me, then? Will you take off all that spiky armor you're wearing? It's been known to happen. Then forget it. So, what duties did you have? As a slave, I mean. Not this again. I heard that Tavinta slaves are kept oiled so they glisten. Did your master oil you up? Did you glisten for him? I was his bodyguard. Always close at hand. Always within reach. Glistening. You have an entire story written in your head already, don't you? Hmm... So I hear you think mages should be free? Everyone should be free, not just mages. Not everyone's dangerous. It's not about who's dangerous. It's about having choices made for you. Don't you wish you had the choice not to have lyrium stuck under your skin? I do. This is silly. I don't want to argue. Do you want to guess what color my underclothes are again? Oh yes, that's much more fun. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Three years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinter merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Daenerys killed him. Either way, if Daenerys is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Don't tell me you're going to miss all the attention. 
Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? You take a breath and look around. And start anew. I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. You don't know who you were? Fenris was the name Daenerys bestowed upon me. His little wolf. If I once had another name or a family, then they were taken from me. But again, this is not your concern. I might be able to help with your problems. Or give you a few more. <laughs> Only a few? It depends if I really work at it. Tempting. You're a handsome man, Hawk. Is there no one else who has your... attention? I didn't quite catch that first part. <laughs> I don't need to repeat the obvious, I'm certain. I'm an escaped slave and an elf living in a borrowed mansion. None of those things bother you. And I'm an apostate refugee. Does that bother you? You have me there. You raise an interesting point. I'll have to... consider it. Sour ale, vomit, and the smell of desperation. It's early yet. Excellent point. Where are we going? How should I know? Do I look like the leader of this merry band of misfits? You really ought to take that offer, Elf. It'd keep the coterie off your back pretty much permanently. I don't need employment. But it wouldn't kill you to make some friends in this city. Three years and you're practically a ghost. I prefer it that way. Healthy attitude there. <laughs> Forget I said anything. You know, if you need advice on how to lay low, I can give you some. Being short would make for an excellent start, I suspect. Keep that up, Sarah, and you can keep on hiding like a rank amateur. What would you suggest, Varric? Cower in the shadows like a rat? You could try wearing something that didn't scream, I hate you all, I was a slave. The markings would still show. Really? Through anything? <laughs> That's... kinda cool. So what do you do in that gigantic house all day? Dance, of course. Really? I run from room to room, choreographing routines. <laughs> You're actually joking. Alert the Chantry. They need to put this on the calendar. And you thought I was always serious. I do love the way the merchants glare at me as if I'm going to steal something. The nerve! Dwarves make excellent thieves too, you know. So you found your brother? I did. Wasn't expecting that. I assume there was a time when you and he were friends. With Bartrand? No. Just brothers. Occasionally he wasn't insufferable. And yet you remained at his side. Too bad he didn't do the same. You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Don't the stories mention my stunning good looks? What about my cunning wit? Nope. They skip straight to the part about the lovable dwarf with the gorgeous crossbow and the heart of gold. I try to steer them straight, but you know how stories go. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. I guess all works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You may not be my best dressed or cleanest friend, Master Hawk, but you're all right in my book. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. So Iwan is dead. That's what he gets for his treachery. And that must be the Gollum control rod. 
Perhaps the creatures it controls are further down this path. That little rod controls such a great creature. Do you suppose it resents that? Last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special occasion. And what's that? The anniversary of my escape. Astia Valor Fermundis. Care to hear the story? I thought you avoided talking about this. Not on special occasions. I enjoy listening to you talk. And I enjoy a man willing to speak his mind. Let's see. You've heard of Saharan. The Imperium and the Kunari have fought over the island for centuries now. I was there with Denarius during a Kunari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. I thought Denarius considered you valuable. <laughs> he wasn't given a choice. The look on his face as the ship pulled out was priceless. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called Fog Warriors. They found me and took me in, nursed me back to health. I stayed with them for a time, until Daenerys finally came for me. He was relieved to see you'd survived, right? Relieved to see his investment hadn't ended up in Kunari hands, perhaps. I'd grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, they refused to let him take me. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I... killed them all. Why would you do such a thing? It felt inevitable. My master had returned and this... this fantasy life was over. But once it was done... I looked down at their bodies. I felt... I couldn't. I ran. And never looked back. Didn't Daenerys stop you? The rebels had wounded him. The soldiers he brought attempted to capture me. Unsuccessfully. It was weeks before Daenerys was able to mount the hunt in earnest. But by then, I was already gone. How well did you know these fog warriors? I knew them only a few months. But in that time, I felt as if I truly lived. They were bold, strong free with their affections. I was in awe of them, and owed them everything. And I turned on them even so. Couldn't you have found other fog warriors? Become a rebel? Even if I did, I felt... unworthy. I had no way of knowing if I could truly escape from Daenerys then. I didn't even know what that meant. I simply had to get away. I stowed aboard a ship to the mainland and moved south chased by my former master every step of the way. I have to wonder why you stayed with Daenerys as long as you did. You have not been a slave. A slave does not dream of freedom or wonder at possibilities. You think only of your master's desires and what the next hour will bring. It did not occur to me that I could be anything else until I had a taste of it. But there are stories of slaves rebelling all the time. They did in Kirkwall. The ritual that gave me my markings also stripped me of my memory. Whatever I was before may as well have never been. Perhaps if I knew, I might have felt differently. This can't be easy to talk about. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. Perhaps this is what it means to have a friend. It might mean more than that. I... have never allowed anyone too close. When my markings were created, the pain was... extraordinary, and the memory lingers. But you are a man unlike any other, Hawk. With you, it might be different. We could find out. On another evening, perhaps. A last toast, then. 
to the Fallen. A fascinating breed. Such intelligence and strength. Do you ever wonder what he thinks about? He still thinks about dog things, just with more clarity. Are you aware that this breed originated in Tevintum? The Magisters bred them. It's said the Mabari defected during the Imperium's invasion of Ferelden. Merely a tale, but I rather like the idea they found the Barbarians more palatable than the mages. Exactly so. Let's hope your hound doesn't take after his ancestors too strongly, hmm? I have something for you. It... it's a book. It's a subject you're familiar with. The book is by Shartan, the elf who helped Andraste free the slaves. You know about him, right? A little. It's just... Slaves are not permitted to read. I've never learned. It's not too late to learn, Fenris. Isn't it? Sometimes I wonder. I don't mean to seem ungrateful. I do appreciate the thought. I've always wanted to learn more of Shartan. Perhaps this is my chance. Hunters. Stop right there! You are in possession of stolen property! Back away from the slave now and you'll be spared! Fenris is a free man! I won't repeat myself! Back away from the slave now! I am not your slave! Where is he? Please, don't kill me. <laughs> Tell me! I don't know. I don't know, I swear. Adriana brought us. She's at the holding caves north of the city. I can show you the way. No need. I know which ones you speak of. Then let me go. I beg you. I swear you I You chose the wrong master. Hadriana. I was a fool to think I was free. They'll never let me be. This is someone you know? My old master's apprentice. I remember her well. A sniveling social climber that would sell her own children if she thought it would please Daenerys. If she's here, it's at his bidding. I knew he wouldn't let this go. Then why are we standing around? The holding caves held slaves in the old times, but apparently they are no longer abandoned. We must go quickly, before Hadriana has a chance to prepare, or flee. We must be careful. There were many such holdings once, especially in the mountains where individual slavers kept private pens. They were designed to protect against raids by fellow slavers. No doubt it's why Hadriana chose this place. Do slavers attack each other often? They did. What better way to find slaves than to steal them? The holdings outside of Tevinter have mostly been abandoned, but they still exist. Maybe she wanted to redecorate. Add a few flowers. She's not a flowers kind of woman. Let's hope this isn't a waste of time. See for yourself. The legacy of the Magisters. They sacrificed the unwilling. Is that so hard to believe? You're only a step away from it yourself. That's not true. Believe what you like. In my experience, mages always find a way to justify their need for power. Are you hurt? Did they touch you? They've been killing everyone. They cut Papa, bled him. Why? Why would they do this? These poor people. This is ghastly. The Magister. She said she needed power, that someone was coming to kill her. We tried to be good. We did everything we were told. She loved Papa's soup. I don't understand. Is the Magister still here? I think so. The Magister said they were to prepare for battle. I think she's very frightened. She has every reason to be. Please don't hurt her. She'll be so angry if you hurt her. This has been terrible for you. 
Everything was fine until today. It wasn't. You just didn't know any better. Are you my master now? No. But I can cook. I can clean. What else will I do? If you go to Kirkwall, I can help you. Yes? Oh, praise the Maker. Thank you. I didn't realize you were in the market for a slave. I gave her a job, Fenris. Ah, then... that's good. My apologies. Let's find Hadriana and be done with this place. Stop! You do not want me dead! There is only one person I want dead more. I have information, Elf. And I will trade it in return for my life. Ha! Huh. The location of Daenerys. What good will that do me? I'd rather he lose his pet pupil. You have a sister. She is alive. You wish to reclaim your life? Let me go, and I will tell you where she is. How do we know you're even telling the truth? You don't. But I know Fenris, and I know what he's searching for. If he wants me to betray Daenerys, he'll have to pay for it. This is your call. So I have your word. I tell you, and you let me go. Yes. You have my word. Her name is Verania. She is in Carinus, serving a magister by the name of Eremon. A servant, not a slave. She's not a slave. I believe you. <gasps> we are done here. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. This could be a trap. Daenerys could have sent Hadriana here to tell me about this sister. Even if he didn't, trying to find her would still be suicide. Daenerys has to know about her and has to know that Hadriana knows. But all that matters is I finally got to crush this bitch's heart. May she rot and all the other mages with her. Maybe we should leave. No, I don't want you comforting me. You saw what was done here. There's always going to be some reason, some excuse why mages need to do this. Even if I've found my sister, who knows what the Magisters have done to her? What has magic touched that it doesn't spoil? I... need to go. I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. I took out my anger on you. Undeservedly so. I was... not myself. I'm sorry. I had no idea where you went. I was concerned. I needed to be alone. When I was still a slave, Hadriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, pound my sleep. Because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to, but I couldn't. That's more important than your promise. It's not easy to discover your principles are less noble than you believed. This hate. I thought I'd gotten away from it. But it dogs me no matter where I go. To feel it again. To know it was they who planted it inside me. It was too much to bear. Ah, but I didn't come here to burden you further. You don't need to leave, Fenris. Was it that bad? I'm sorry, it's not... It was fine. No, that is insufficient. It was better than anything I could have dreamed. 
It can be a lot to take in, I know. It's not that. I began to remember my life before. Just flashes. It's too much. This is too fast. I, I cannot do this. Your life before? What do you mean? I've never remembered anything from before the ritual, but there were faces, words. For just a moment, I could recall all of it, and then it slipped away. If it brings your memory back, maybe we need to do it more often. Perhaps you don't realize how upsetting this is. I've never remembered anything, and to have it all come back in a rush, only to lose it. I can't. I can't. We can work through this. I'm sorry. I feel like such a fool. All I wanted was to be happy. Just for a little while. Forgive me. Greetings, Master. Your home was difficult to find. I've never been out on my own before, but I found it. Many people know of you. I hope I've made myself useful. I've already begun cleaning and I can cook. Not as good as Papa, but a little. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? You've been through a great deal. How are you feeling? I miss Papa, the other servants. I try not to think about what happened. I even feel sorry for the Magister. Is that bad? You've served her a long time. I understand. I'll serve you just as well, Master. You'll see. If you're staying here, Arana, it will be as my servant. You mean... I won't be a slave anymore? You'll be paid, like anyone else. I... A slave is all I've ever been, like Papa and Grandpapa before me. I'll try to be a good servant. Thank you, Master. You're too good to me. I can't imagine what Hawk sees in you. It is done. Leave it be. Well, good. I always knew he had some sense. Do not make light of this. Leaving was the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, will you two get over yourselves? You're like two dogs around a bitch in heat. We were talking about Hawk, not you. Isabella, my dusky goddess. You have buried yourself in the flesh of my heart like a worm in a red, red apple. You heartworm, you. Oh, look, my friend is here. Excuse me. But I haven't gotten to the part where I invite you to feast upon my tender white flesh. That's all right. I think I'll manage. Speaking of romance, you and Fenris, eh? That taut, controlled body, the brooding demeanor and intense gaze. I hear he still wears the shackles from his life in bondage under his clothes. You know what they say about men like that, don't you? Ah, <sighs> I'm gonna regret asking you to continue, aren't I? He can't find a saw. <laughs> <sighs> I had you there. You thought I was going to say something dirty. <laughs> and then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? Of course, Hawk. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. People say you and that uh, elf, you know, the angsty uh, Tevinter one, are becoming quite the item. So, what's going on, Hawk? Well, 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 I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. Hawk, I know I'm damned near irresistible, but you're just too high maintenance for me. Sorry. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. You do know the elf is covered in spikes, like an angsty porcupine. He might have some... issues. In all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, point taken. <laughs> what? 
Why are you looking at me like that? You're in love. I am not. You keep looking at Hawk with sad puppy eyes every time his back is turned. There are no puppy eyes. It's all right, you know. Even you can be happy once in a while. It won't kill you. But your face might crack if you smile, so be careful. Hawk, I need... a favor that I can only trust to you. Oh? This should be good. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donick, here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. Donick? The one we pulled from an ambush? The event that put me here. But this is... a different need of the Guard and its captain. And you're doing very badly at the no questions part. If that's all you need, I'll walk the hundred feet to him. Thank you. And please hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk. I really do. Guardsman Donick. Sir R. Hawk, it's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. No ill effects from the ambush, I trust. They got me pretty good, I'll admit. But they fared worse, so I can't complain. Guard is a good career if you're careful. A short one if you're not. And the captain makes sure we're careful. I have it on good authority that you are going to enjoy this. Am I now? It's a copper relief of... Marigolds? Ah, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Possibly... here. You throw this away? Well, it certainly conveys that. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do. Of varying import. Sir Hawk. I'm not seeing the sense to this. You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? To your garbage, you mean? I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols, for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. Really? Just walk over there and post the roster? I want his honest reaction without the captain present. You could just have him hauled off. This isn't about an accusation I can put in a report and explain. I need someone unofficial. All right. Posting the roster just over there. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. So much doubt. Unusual, but clearly important. Hey, Donick! Whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working dockside on those smugglers. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. You have got to be kidding me. What did I do to get that post? Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need... I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. A dowry? Then... This isn't about accusations. No, it's not. She's courting the man, with a fear reserved for dragons. How exactly did you think this mess would work? I don't know what I thought. I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. But you were married, were you not? That was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. It's just fear. 
I know it's foolish, but I can't get away from it. What about you and Fenris? How do you deal with the danger of your lives? Maybe we're not the best example. But you understand. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. I can drag him in here right now. Just say the word. Oh, and how would that look? The captain ordering her guardsmen to... to... it wouldn't help. If the existing relationship prevents a new one, go somewhere you are equal. What? Just go out somewhere? Like it's that easy? What? Too simple? Tell Donick. Invite him to the Hanged Man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group, anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Guardsman Donick! How are you? Good, I suppose. Doesn't matter. Free for an evening. I have no immediate patrols. Why? A night at the Hanged Man for all the guard. You'll come? Of course you'll come. Should I have heard of this? Very well, Sir Arhawk. I guess I'll be there. Never good to be the last to hear of these things. There were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change. Apparently. Right. Look, <laughs> I should really, um... What? No! Sit! Drink! Another round? Make a yes. So, Aveline is great. Look, if this was all a plan for you to get closer to the captain, maybe you should just talk to her. I mean, how sad would it be if you needed a go-between? Have some backbone. I have to go. Thanks for the drinks. I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I arranged this to get to you. I'm an idiot. Admitting it is a good step. Where are you heading next? The barracks, Ferelden, the deepest hole I can find. You've never been the hiding type. I know, all right, but I freeze up. The only place I'm not a mess is on patrol. And killing high women doesn't afford much opportunity for banter. Again, she deflects. I will not risk. You're squandering something you don't understand. You can't ignore advice from such a stable source. But I can't fight and talk. I'll clear the way, and you can see if he's the one. You're too good at this. Is it any wonder you've all but taken Hightown? You clear the route up the wounded coast, and I... will think of something to say. Well, Guardsman, good patrol. I think we're done, and I... Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline. Hawk, don't. We don't have all night, you know. Would someone please tell me what's going on? She wants you. It is pathetic. And admirable. Captain? Ah. Uh... I should get back to the barracks. I thought we were friends. Friends sometimes push. I... I have to fix this. He'll file a complaint, ask for a transfer. You, you're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Double time, Hawk, or so help me. Maker. Where is Donick? I have to... 
Head this off before it goes to the Viscount. Maybe a formal apology. Something that shows the guards they can still trust me. Try the copper marigolds again. In hindsight, they weren't the worst option. It's not funny. I beg to differ. You'll beg for more than that if you keep this up. <clears throat> My apologies, Sir Ahawk, but I need a moment with the captain. Guardsman Donick. Please. Aveline. Guardsman Donick. Did not file a complaint. This was all incredibly stupid, and you made it wonderful. You finally mastered the obvious. I'll take your word on the second part. You'll get the chance. I was mute, and now I want to sing. Please don't. I just... There's no way I can ever repay you. Perhaps it's simple. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you something? Was there a moment when you thought I was beyond help? Not for a second. You don't lie very well. As far as you know. Shout when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just knock first. It feels good to be Captain of the Guard, yes? No, I will not change the patrols around your mansion again. There's already been too many questions. You wound my pride with such accusations. But you were going to ask. Eventually. <sighs> I'll look at the roster and see what I can do. All right, I'm just going to say it. Fenris, you need to present yourself better. What are you talking about? You're squatting in Hightown. I sympathize with your claims, but your neighbors have influence. My claims? To the estate. Rightfully stolen isn't exactly something I can forward to the Viscount. Be more discreet about... yourself. I shall endeavor to exist with less offense. Fenris, did you consider my offer for you to train the guard into winter fighting techniques? I've heard nothing. My abilities were inflicted, not taught. I will not pass that on. Some good should come of them. No. I came quickly, Ariane. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Tevinters called Somniari, a dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive. What exactly are we going to do here? The Elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. Just send me into the Fade. I told you he was amazing. Now, Ariane, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. You're really not my type. This is a serious matter. Fainreel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls Tranquil. He will be no threat after. That is Fainriel's greatest fear. I won't be the one to make it come true. I have no choice but to leave it in your hands. Now, gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I never give in to temptation. I worry what a journey to the Fade might bring out in me. I have no desire to explore the Fade, but if you need me, I will go. Let us begin. I had not thought to return in such a way. It is good to feel the breath of the Fade again, not the empty air of your world. 
Does that happen every time you're in the Fade? I am Justice. Andes has told you of me. Come. I sense Fainwheel's mind straining. We will not have much time. Don't. Question. Me. against me. Complete accident. I was trying to help. Honest. Take away my pets, and I'll take away yours. How loyal are these friends you drag into the Fade? Would your pirate queen stay if the open water beckoned? What do you say, sweetheart? A two-mast brigantine? Square main topsail? A hundred well-built lads to answer your every whim. I know you've been looking for a stiff masthead. Hmm. Should I turn around now to let you stab me in the back? Or would you rather it be a surprise? You are just the sweetest. The silence call to awaits in Kirkwall Harbor. I'll be under the furs in the captain's quarters. I like big boats, I cannot lie. With my power joined to his, Fainreel would have changed the world. Have you ever seen an abomination? They are ugly. You put such stock in appearances. Perhaps that is why your friend's loyalty only goes skin deep. You think this slave would choose you over his freedom? Cast your eyes elsewhere, demon. I won my freedom from the Magisters long ago. But you fear them still. They've left their marks on your body and your mind. With my aid, you could be free forever. You could have power enough to challenge any who would chain you. If you accept, you are no better than the Magistrates. But... To face them as an equal, I... What would you want from me? A moment of your time, nothing more. I'm not sure if this is real. If so, it is the second time I owe you my life. The Fade feels different now. I see the stitches, the seams holding it together. I feel I could wake at any moment. Dreamers control the Fade, and the dreams of people in it. I see why the Chantry fears us. I've heard tales of Magisters who stalk their enemies, and use their own dreams to destroy them. You're right. I must master it. Find someone to study under. The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Vinter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. My mother would not look kindly on such a journey. Can you give her my farewell? May the Maker guide your path, Fainriel. Perhaps there is a way out of this. I can do this. Fainriel has mastered his powers. Then he lives. You saved him. I cannot thank you enough. Keeper Marathari, may I return with you to the Sunderlands? I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. I must find him before he goes. It is wise for him to seek guidance. Kirkwall cannot provide what he needs. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. And I must apologize for my weakness. I would have thought myself above such influence. Does this mean I'm not getting my ship? Bugger it all! I find there's nothing like being possessed to keep you on the straight and narrow. Your friends awakened here some time ago. We all have weaknesses the demons find. 
You accomplished a miracle with Fainreel. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh, you have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. I... Oh, look, it's Hawk. I like big boats, I cannot lie. Really, Isabella? Well, I do. Blighted Demon knew it, too. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. I don't blame you. I understand what it's like to be under the influence of a demon. You... what? That's it. No angry rant. Are you trying to get me to jump into bed with you? Because it's working. Friends forgive each other. Now you're making my insides feel squishy. Oh, go away. I have been thinking about what happened in the Fade. That a demon could have played so easily on my fears disturbs me. I failed you. I won't let that happen again. Everyone gets one free demonic possession before I hold it against them. Good to know. As for the boy, we shall see what he becomes, and if he regrets the mercy you provided. But that is not important now. Let's just hope we face nothing similar in the future. You should have lived in Tevinter. You'd be happier there. You're probably right. There, your magic would be a mark of honor. Apprentice to the right magister, you would do well. Is there a downside? Only if you're bothered by owning a few slaves and performing the occasional blood ritual. So they all do those things? Just the ones who don't complain about how powerless and persecuted they are. Is there something you want, Anders? You really don't have the temperament for a slave. Is that a compliment or an insult? I'm just wondering how your master didn't kill you. How have the Templars not killed you? I'm charming. Did you ever think about killing yourself? I could ask you the same thing. I'm serious. To get out of slavery, to escape Denarius. Don't tell me you never thought about it. I did not. To kill oneself is a sin in the eyes of the Maker. You believe that? I try to. Some things must be worse than slavery. Some things are worse than death. This is it. This tunnel will take us into the gallows. With any luck, we'll simply be mistaken for thieves and not conspirators. Are you ready to help me find evidence of the tranquil solution? Let's go. I seem to recall you saying something a while ago. Shut up. I can control it. Wasn't that what you said? So help me. I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Of all the giant mirrors in your house, Meryl, this is easily the nicest. I knew if anyone would understand, you would. I've spent the last few years restoring this. Two of my clan stumbled across it in a ruin. We never found Hamelin. Amariel came back, poisoned by the Alluvian. Sick just from being near it. What's an Alluvian? Long ago, the Elves had a kingdom. An empire that covered Thedas. And every city had an Alluvian. The mirrors let them communicate across their empire. But I don't know how exactly. My people have lost so much. We know almost nothing of the days before Arlathan. This is a piece of our history. Did your clan member recover? 
the keeper treated him, but she said it was the blight, the corruption. A grey warden took him away. He said the wardens had the means to cure him. It must have been true. The keeper said that he fought the archdemon himself. What are you trying to do with this mirror? At first, I wanted to find out what happened to my friends. Maybe I could still help them. I suppose the great hero of Ferelden doesn't need my help now. Anyway, I know I can use it to help my people recover what we've lost. This thing is what made the Keeper send you away, isn't it? The Keeper wanted me to destroy the fragment I kept. She said our ancestors meant it to be forgotten. But it's a Keeper's place to remember. Even the dangerous things. We argued. I... left. She's wrong. This mirror could teach us so much about who we once were. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. And a rule in home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. But you're afraid to face Keeper Marathari again. Exactly. You have no idea, the Keeper. I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? I'll go with you. Maseranus, I'll find some way to repay you, I promise. Hmm. No herd of Hala. I thought all Dalish clans had them. Keeper. You return to us, darling. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I... Hello again, Keeper. Don't you look lovely? My apologies, Hawk. Be welcome among the Dalish. Keeper, I need the Arulin home, the ancient carving blade that Master Island keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvian. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking via Sula Varnan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. It is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. What did Merrill invoke? Our history belongs to all, Dalish child. So our clan's most cherished relics can be claimed by everyone. Any Dalish can perform a service for the clan and gain ownership of such an item. For a time. That is what Merrill has invoked. Even if she has chosen to live apart, she is still one of the people. What exactly is this thing we're asking for? It is an ancient carving tool, used by our wood shapers, passed down for countless generations. Our clan has carried it since before the fall of the Dales. It is as old as Arlathan itself. We appreciate your help. This means a lot to Meryl. I'm glad that Meryl has a friend in you, child. I hope you will look after her. I can take care of myself, Keeper. Yes, Dalen. I know. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Seek it out, slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us, and I will give you the Arulin home. May the Dread Wolf never catch your scent. Whoever's hiding had better come out. Unless you're a dragon. Then feel free to keep hiding. Hello? Praise Andrast. I mean the creators. I thought I'd never get out of... Meryl? Anethera, Paul. Are you hurt? Stay back. What do you want from me? Paul, what's wrong? I'm here to help. Stay back! Don't touch me! Meryl couldn't hurt you if she tried. 
At worst, she might make frowny faces. She'll do worse than hurt me. Don't you know what she is? Creators, help me! Someone, please! Paul, no! We have to catch him, hurry! Hold on, Paul. We're coming. Paul? Maybe it's not too late. Hawk, you can save him, can't you? I would if I could. Do you need a minute alone? No. Thank you. I... We have too much to do for me to sit here bawling. Paul wasn't like the others. He was city-born. Worldly. He ran away from the Denerum and found us. I thought if anyone would understand, he would. This... Something is very wrong. I want to see the Keeper. Paul, what was he thinking? He acted like I was a monster. You are a monster. You're not helping. Good. The Varteral is dead. Maseranus. I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Vateral. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dalen. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There is no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Alluvian is poison. It killed Tamlin. It stole Mahariel. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk, because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. Is it worth restoring this mirror if it turns your clan against you? You know what it's like to lose everything, Hawk. Not just our land and freedom, but history, stories, language, magic, rituals. Even our gods are gone. It is a sacrifice, but if the mirror restores even one fragment of the past, it's worth it. What did the Keeper mean the mirror led you to blood magic? I... The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The Keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a... spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. Neither have I. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. Take the knife. Just try not to cut yourself with it. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye.
You were more naive than I thought. What have I done to you now? To me? Nothing. Not yet. To yourself? You can't even begin to imagine the number of mages that have walked down the path you're now on. My clan didn't believe in me. If you don't believe in me either, I won't mind. Avert your eyes, witch. You said I was dwelling on useless history. But what are you doing? The past is important to you and to all of us. We must know it to move forward. You had a life. You had a family. And you abandoned them to chase after ghosts. We are nothing alike. Don't even begin to think that we are. You never come to the alienage, Fenris. I don't live in the alienage. Don't you care about the plight of our people? Not even a little bit. I don't need to visit the alienage to know what they suffer. I know it better than you. I've lived there for years. I see it firsthand. And I lived it. Did you step on something sharp, Fenris? No. Slam your fingers in a door? No. Smack your head in a low beam? Is there a point to this line of questioning? Just wondering why you're so cross all the time. Perhaps it's the inane prodding. Looks like we're in the right place. Gascard is planning something. That much is clear. Pfft. Mages. Hmm. Women's clothing. Perhaps they were taken off the murdered women. Clever. He stopped Emmerich from investigating by getting Meredith on his side. Help me! Please! He's gone mad! You're not... You're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. So the wild-eyed hysteria is just for show, then? You don't understand. Someone is after her. I had to keep her safe. I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. Twenty silver if he says, it wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Let go of me! <sighs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Besides, they probably wouldn't even hear me out. Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. You really did make yourself a target, though. Kidnapping people and all. I suppose that's fair. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. Time for you to vanish. Every man for himself. I'm headed to Darktown. If you learn anything new about the killer, find me there. I have a score to settle with him. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Did I tell him that? I must have completely forgotten. Don't you remember sending this message? I didn't send this. 
You didn't? Strange. That's not a good sign. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Some mage sent that thing here to kill him. Why would anyone... Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gaspard Dupuis. Did he do this? I can't be certain of anything. Gaspard may have tricked me. Then we need to find him. Do you know where he is? He didn't tell me where he was going. Let's hope he's not the killer, then. We'll track Gaspard down, just to be safe. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. Enchantment? No, not enchantment. Leandra. Can I see her? Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. Shouting won't make him understand you better, you know. There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm tempted to say she isn't, just to see your reaction. Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. I know someone who might be able to help. Gascar Dupuis. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... all right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Wait, wait, wait. You say you saw Leandra? I did. Marvin. Blue dress, grey hair. Her cloak was brown, I think. She holds it closed with a round brooch, silver with... with garnets. I told you already! I saw her! Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. Oh, that's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him. And I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. <sighs> I never thought I'd curse my mother's kind-heartedness. You could be wrong about all of this. Maybe the flowers don't mean anything. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another... More blood. I'm on the right path. Where is he taking her? There. I hope I'm not too late. There. The foundry. They must have gone inside.
You've been here before, haven't you? Don't you remember? You found Nanette's hand here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. Hmm. Bloodstains on the floor. My spell indicates that Alessa is close by. We're in the right place. Let's look around. There. More blood. They are here somewhere. Looks like someone forgot to conceal the door to his hideout. This wasn't here before. Mother must be down there. With him. Mother! Alessa! Mother's locket. This isn't a good sign. What... is this? The woman in the painting. She almost... looks like Mother. If I ever make anything this pathetic, do me a favor and stick a dagger in my eye. I need to find her. Now! Necromancy. And here I thought I was twisted. Why would he have these? What's he planning? I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Mother always knew me best. Yes. And she spoke so fondly of you. What a lovely, gentle woman. Quentin! Gascar! So, you've reached me after all these years. I figured you gave up. Why? Are you afraid? Hoping Gascard would have forgotten what you did? Afraid? Of Gascard? <laughs> no! Gascard respects me too much to kill me. Shut up! I am going to learn your secrets, old man. Everything you kept from me. Sorry to interrupt this lovely student-teacher reunion, but where is my mother? Listen to me. Together we can defeat Quentin. Once he's dead, you'll have your mother back. And his research and writings will be mine. I'm sorry, Gascard. When my wife died, I lost all hope. I wasn't able to be the mentor you deserved. But now, my work is finished. And I can teach you as I always meant to. Come back to me, Gascard. You'll let me be part of this. You'll teach me the secrets of necromancy. I... <laughs> what? You were going to do that, right? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. You're crazy. I get it. Where's my mother? I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And, at last, her face. Oh, this 
beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. I knew you would come. You know me. I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I'll be fine, mother. My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? Mother's gone. Will knowing why ease the pain? No, it won't. It will always seem senseless, won't it? Where's the one who did this to her? Did you find the person who killed Leandra? Let's just say his killing days are over. It won't bring Leandra back, but I'll take comfort in knowing that. Carver needs to be told. I'll send a message to the Grey Wardens and hope it reaches him. Take care, my boy. I don't know what to say, but I am here. Just say something, anything. They say death is only a journey. Does that help? I suppose they say you go back to the Maker when you die. I've heard that too. To be honest, I don't think there is much point in filling these moments with empty talk. I'm sorry about your mama. I will miss her. I am... Um... Not unsympathetic to your loss, Sarah Hawk. I cannot imagine what it must be like to lose your family. Anything I could say would be insufficient. I'm sorry. Hawk. I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? I have a smile on my face. That should be enough for most people. That doesn't work on me. I knew her too. I want to think my mother was like her. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. 
That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Drink? A glass for those we've lost. All right then. Benoit Dulac and Leandra Hawk. Don't let anyone tell you when to move on. Take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too. You have information about the missing Kunari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. So where would you start, if you were the starting type? I would begin with the most obvious failure. It's clear the city guard has no excuse for allowing this, unless they were involved. Not coincidentally, a number of recent recruits have failed to report. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. The hanged man. Hanged man. Definitely. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Expensive tastes for this place. That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're gonna show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. Guard captain, would you like to have a word with your man? Guard captain? Who? What? <gasps> Who? Who what? I don't... Who bought you? Who bought the honor of a proud guard of Kirkwall and made him a drunken Mabari bitch? I, I don't... I don't know. He was a Templar, I swear. He had the seal of the Grand Cleric and everything. It's true. The penalty for abandoning your post is ten days on the wall. I expect you to report in the morning. Uh-huh. Hmm. There's your answer. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric's seal, no less. Well done. What do you want, Hawk? I have no interest in adding to my distractions. And yet you sent a delegate to the Viscount. A brief attempt to educate. If the Dwarf had stolen the Sarkamek, it could have been used to show the price of greed. But you know the outcome of that. These fools are determined to be wrong. I won't waste the effort again. I'll probably regret this, but you should know your delegate is missing. Anyone else, and those words would have been their last. You are handling this, not your buffoon of a Viscount. As best I can. Then I will wait, but know this. The provocations we have suffered have worked. If this is not resolved, I can fulfill my duty to the Kune with far less annoyance by sifting through rubble. As if there wasn't enough pressure. So, on the word of a drunk, we intend to accuse the Grand Cleric of funding Zealots. Don't forget the kidnapped Kunari. That too. Freedom was interesting while it lasted. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her... Three Kunari leave an estate. And let her finish. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Alfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? 
Funny how you and issues with the Kunari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead, but I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand, but you must admit, you came out the better for it. I know you, and I know someone is abusing the Grand Cleric's seal. Who are you to question who serves her grace? I am sorry, but I see no reason to let you pass. How about the fact that her authority was used to abduct Kunari? A pause that says you knew. But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. It sounds like you've been bad. This will shock her grace, no doubt. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And his relation to you is? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Von El. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Tight quarters. Patrice is here somewhere. Right. Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous. Sevonel! Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember, Sarah Hawk? The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? You want a fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Righteous! Destroy them! All right. Time to bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness! Madness! That's a word for it. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. Sure it could. You could suddenly realize you're completely naked or something. <laughs> you killed them? All of them? A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? told them to fight you? No, I cannot say that. No, of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. I have had trouble with her before. She is... slippery. I understand. I will make my inquiries. Gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. We have the delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Arishok. What should I do? Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall 
owes you. I owe you. So you could not rescue my delegate, but you killed those responsible. How do you explain the condition of their bodies? A fanatic used them to incite others of his kind. I accept that. Well, that was easy. I have seen every vice and weakness of your kind, and how few of you take responsibility. Your Viscount remains a fool, but you are not. Panahedan, Hawk. I will keep one good thought about your kind. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. He is of age. The decision seems rightly his. I want to let him find his way, but in my position, he's taken a great deal of inspiration from you. I want to allow his idealism, but not blindly. At best, my opponents will claim that my office is now in Canari hands. At worst, I lose my son. He's your child. How fast can he be? Who knows? He might actually listen to you. No one else has dealt as closely with the Kunari. I hope he will see that we can be accepting and still be a proud citizen of Kirkwall. I wish we could all see that. Well, hope the Ari Shark hasn't grown attached to the Viscount's boy. Sirrah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Bars still beg me to let them come to the Kune. They hunger for purpose. The Sun has made a choice. You will not deny him that. Converting the Viscount's son? His opposition will have a field day. And? The enemy of your enemy should be your friend? I don't fear the whole of them together. And it is not my role to reject the free choice of Vidathari. The son responded to his own demand of the Kune. He is neither my slave nor my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and a letter of both. That probably could have been mentioned earlier. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. He is strained with the Chantry. He would not involve them. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I just can't think of it right now. Her intent is obvious, and what the Kune demands is clear. This is the last insult I intend to suffer. Resolve this, or her hiding place will be reduced to rubble. I will be watching, Hawk. Sarah Hawk, look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. All this will do is make people hate you. I have kept the fear of the Kunari fresh in every sermon, every prayer. They will know whose word to believe. When people learn of this attack, they will rise. Not zealots or the unknowing, but the true majority. Great plan. Until people start dying in a war with the Canari. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. 
earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die! Do you see, Your Grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted, all too well. She's onto you, Patrice. Quick, lie harder. Don't you spout your Kunari filth. This is a hand of the divine. I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Kunari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. Love or hate the Kunari, a blind nug could see she took this too far. No price is too much when we speak of eternity. Eternity is long enough that we need not rush to meet it. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sirrah Hawk, you act on behalf of the Viscount? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? We protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? The Arishok is still here, Excellency. You must be ready to stand up to him. I cannot. I have already failed where it mattered most. Please. Hawk. Leave me. People will not be quick to forget the Viscount's son, and that this happened in the Chantry. The Arashok's the one to worry about. So we clean up and wait for trouble to find us. This is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems too. Ha! <laughs> what drink should I order and who's the father? Oh, you little... Are there any good seats left? Hawk. The Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Cune. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law... I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die! There. Got your attention? Real problem. I heard Arashok and die. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castillon won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well, maybe it's connected. 
What? I'm just saying maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. Isn't it odd that someone would run to the Canari? They're elves accused of murder. Maybe they feel they've nothing to lose by fleeing the alienage. And if their conversion is genuine? I don't know. But how many more will try if I allow this? Justice must be respected. You're expecting trouble? After what happened to the Viscount's son? Yes. I'm hoping the Canari aren't looking for a fight. I'm hoping they'll be reasonable. But we'll see. You're sure this is the relic you're after? I've had my ear to the ground for a while. There was a description of the book. It's the right one. Book? I thought you didn't know what the relic was. Well, I... I, I know it's a book. But that's all I know. It's written in a foreign tongue. Honestly, what does it matter? It'll save me from Castillon, so I need it. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Kunari. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low-town foundry. Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think he planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short, but nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. I still don't get the name. Did they hang someone here? It means being drunk. Actually, they did hang men here. By their feet. Until they starved. <laughs> Good thing they were drunk then. Hold! You will surrender the relic. I don't have your stupid relic. Has no honor. If the Arashok asks why we killed his men, we'll say it was an accident. Uh, yes. About that. The relic belongs to the Canari, and there's a small chance they want it back. Do the Canari look like the sharing type to you? Of course they want it back. I've always known what the relic is. I just didn't want to worry you. You're the picture of kindness, Ravani. The relic is a Canari text handwritten by that philosopher of theirs. Uh, Keslin, Kuzland, oh, whatever his name is. Kostlin? That's the one. The founder of their religion, the most revered being in their history. That text would be sacred beyond measure. I stole it from them. They followed me here to reclaim it, and it's why they're still in Kirkwall. They can't leave the free marches without it. How did you steal the relic from the Kunari? The Arashok never had it. The Orlesians did. They had plans to return it to the Canari. I simply had to waylay the Orlesian convoy before it met up with the Arashok and his men. Getting the relic was easy. Getting away from the Canari was the hard part. I thought you and the Canari were caught in a storm. The storm was only half of it. I also had the Canari dreadnought stuck to my behind like a bad rash, spitting fire and thunder at me. Why would anyone besides the Kunari want this relic? The Tevinta Imperium have been at war with the Kunari for centuries. If the Tevintas get the relic, it will strike a blow to Kunari morale. That's probably what the mages want. You could have done something about the Kunari, but you didn't. Done what? The blighted thing didn't show up for three years. Look, the book's right in this building, and I'm not letting it slip away again. It's the only thing that'll get Castillon off my back. Please, tell me you'll give the relic to me. It's yours. Your life depends on it. Really? I... I wasn't expecting that. 
It's nice to have someone on my side for once. Come on, we've no time to waste. Where is the relic? I... uh... I have it! The Tome of Coastland will not fall into Deventer hands! Blood and spite! A toss, Canore! He's getting away! Isabella! Once a thief, always a thief. Come on. Aveline will be waiting at the Canari compound. We still have to deal with that mess. I'd wrap up any other business before we go. It's already a mess, and could get worse. Let's go. I request an audience with the Arashok. He will allow it, but not in this number. I will only bring my friend here and a small compliment of my guard. Is that few enough? It is. Enter. Shenadon. Greetings, Arashok. We come regarding the elven fugitives that took refuge here. Irrelevant. I would speak to Hawk about the relic stolen from my grasp. One of my former companions stole it. Her part was clear. Your admission is welcome. An issue for another time. We're here for the fugitives. The elves are now Fidithari. They have chosen to submit to the Kuhn. They will be protected. Have they truly converted? Or are they simply using you as a shield? They have chosen, and so have I. You have not hidden the abuses of your zealots or the corruption of this city. You will understand why I must do this. Let us look at your dangerous criminals. Speak, Vidathari. Who did you murder, and why? A city guard forced himself on our sister. We reported him, or tried to. But they did nothing about it, no matter what we said. So my brothers and I paid him a visit. That doesn't excuse murder. Are these elves telling the truth? There have been rumors. I will investigate. But they still took the law into their own hands. Sometimes that is necessary. Like you avenged the Viscount's son. It was not right then, and it's not right now. I would have done the same thing in their shoes. Hawk, that's not helping. Their actions are mere symptoms. Your society is the disease. They have chosen. The Vidithari will submit to the Kune and find a path your way has denied them. You can't just decide that. You must hand them over. Tell me, Hawk, what would you do in my place? You clearly don't like staying amongst humans. I cannot leave without the relic, and I cannot stay and remain blind to this dysfunction. There is only one solution. Arishok, there is no need for... Vinek Kathas. Can you hear it? The Canari must be spreading out. They're attacking the city. Why? What could they possibly hope to accomplish? Somehow, I don't think the Arishal cares what happens after this. You may be right. Whatever it is, we need to do something quickly. But we'll need some help. Let me guess. Our friends from Parvalan decided to take over after all. The Canari are assaulting the city, and fast. The Arashok planned this for who knows how long. I'll rally the Guardsmen. I suggest heading to your estate in Hightown. Be careful. Somehow I knew it would be you. Carver! 
Hello, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. Last time I checked, you'd moved on from Kirkwall. Things change, but I can't stay. You have our sincere thanks. This attack was most unexpected. Stroud, we need to move. We've already delayed too long. Very true. I cannot believe the Kunari would dare such an attack. This will lead to war with the Free Marches for certain. I fear pressing matters take us elsewhere, but we can spread word to the other free cities. Perhaps they will bring aid. There's something more important than an invasion. We can't talk about it. The Kunari are of far greater concern to you, I'm certain. But we must return to our mission. Wait. I need to tell you about Mother. I already know what happened. I'm sure you did your best. This is not the time. Take this. It is all we can spare, but perhaps it will be of use. Goodbye, big brother. Take care of yourself. Make her watch over you, my friend. You're struggling, woman. Tepa! Boss! Then the Aeroshock failed to take you captive. Unfortunate. The name Hawk has turned up in my reports many times. Too many. But that doesn't matter now. The Kunari are taking people to the keep and may already be in control. We will need to deal with them. Why would they be gathering hostages? They're going to take everyone of import and put them in the same place. Those that agree to convert, live. Those that don't, Charming. Always happy to help in a life-threatening crisis? Good. I'll overlook your own use of magic. For the moment. Head to the keep and I will see if I can find more of my men. These creatures will pay for this outrage. Uh, uh. Many thanks, my friend. You don't seem as badly injured as the others. The others? Surely they cannot all be. Gone. I told them to run. First Enchanter or Sino, you survive. Your relief overwhelms me, Knight Commander. There is no time for talk. We must strike back before it's too late. And who will lead us into this battle? You? I will fight to defend this city as I have always done. To control it, you mean? I won't have our lives tossed to the flames to feed your vanity. I won't have you two at each other's throats. I'm in charge. You! You're not even of this city. Neither am I. Yet I don't hear you complaining about us both fighting to defend our home. Very well, then. But whatever you plan, be quick about it. Tell us, then. What is our course of action? I take it running for the hills isn't an option? 
Or we could find out what they're up to. That works too. An excellent choice. Let's move quickly. There seem to be a great many Konari at the Keep's entrance. Then they've already taken it over. Clearly they've been planning this for some time. This is the only way in. We must assault them now before their numbers grow. Are you mad? They have hostages. We need a distraction. Decide quickly. We have no time. Let's hear what you have in mind, Orsino. We'll need to get you inside and catch up as soon as we can. And just how will we do this? Have confidence, Knight Commander. You will not conquer this city without a fight! Cerebos! Finish Kothos! Here is your fight out. You dare? You are starting a war. Look at you. Like fat doth Russie, you feed and feed and complain only when your meal is interrupted. You do not look up. You do not see that the grass is bare. All you leave in your wake is misery. You are blind. I will make you see. But we have guests. Sinead on, Hawk. I expected you. Moras to Ebreshok. You alone are Basilidan. This is what respect looks like, boss. Some of you will never earn it. So tell me, Hawk. You know I am denied Parvalin until the Tome of Kozloon is found. How would you see this conflict resolved without it? I believe I can answer that. I'm sure you'll find it mostly undamaged. The Tome of Kozloon. It took me a while to get back, what with all the fighting everywhere. You know how it is. Heroic acts of sacrifice? What will people say? This is your damned influence, Hawk. <laughs> I was halfway to Ostwick before I knew I had to turn round. It's pathetic. Relic is reclaimed. I am now free to return to Parvalin with the thief. What? You thought you could strand them here for four years without consequence? She stole the Tome of Kozloon. She must return with us. Sounds like you have something very specific in mind. She will submit to the Kuhn and the Benhasraf. More than that, I will not say. 
You have your relic. She stays with us. I'm so glad you came back, Isabella. Don't worry. Everything will be fine now. Then you leave me no choice. I challenge you, Hawk. You and I will battle to the death with her as the prize. No. If you're going to duel anyone, duel me. You are not bodily done. You are unworthy. Don't you have what you came for? You know we do not suffer thieves. She cannot walk away from this insult. I will take her. If you object, duty demands that we fight. All right. Let's dance. Maravas! So shall it be! Is it over? It's over. The city has been saved! It appears Kirkwall has a new champion. You seem confused, Seeker. The champion killed the Arashok in single combat? It just sounds so... romantic. Hm. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're developing a little crush. Don't be ridiculous. The champion just seems very... heroic in your tale. Mm-hmm. If you're telling the truth. If you are, then... What happened at the gallows may be far different than we assumed. I need to hear it. Let's say I tell you. Then what? Are you hunting for an infamous apostate? Is that what this is all about? Or is it revenge? No, it's not that. Then what about me? If what I tell you isn't what you want to hear, will you still let me go? I will let you go. Well... Now we're talking. None of this is what I thought it would be. Tell me what really happened. Champion of Kirkwall. That was the reward. <laughs> A fine title. Every noble at the Keep owed the champion their lives. He wasn't just a hero. He was now the most important person in the city. Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. Things quickly got out of hand. The more she squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. I know you fear us. Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. The Champion has proven himself Kirkwall's greatest defender. I doubt that he favors sedition. It would be better if you both calmed down before this gets violent. I should remain calm while a mage provokes an uprising. I think not. I think the Champion's views would be appreciated. Or do you fear what he has to say? 
Not at all. Do you agree with the first Enchanter's accusations, Champion? What are you trying to do here? Cause a rebellion? The people of this city need to know what is really happening. And then what? They tear down the gallows with pitchforks and torches? That would be better? It cannot be worse. Your refusal to listen to reason leaves me no choice. What I refuse to listen to are excuses. Perhaps you are ill-fit to your position if you cannot understand this. Threatening each other isn't going to help matters. And what should I do instead? Allow this to continue? The first enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city. The city? I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Dumar failed. And if not? Will the Templars rule Kirkwall forever? We will not stand idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chantry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, mage. If Kirkwall wants Meredith to step down, they'll tell her to. Are you mad? They fear her. Everyone fears her. Rogue mages are constantly threatening the city. Exactly. Would you have us do nothing in response? I would have you not paint us all with the same brush. Not all mages are waiting for the opportunity to wreak havoc. You know as well as I that temptation preys on every mage, no matter how noble their intentions. You hear this, yes? She would lock you up too if she were able. The champion saved this city. Unlike some who threaten it with their misguided outrage. You push us into desperate acts, and then use that as justification to press even further. This argument isn't helping matters. No, it's not. Stand aside if you will not see what is right here. Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? How well did you guard your own mother? Did she not die at a blood mage's hands? Why don't you just stab me in the back while you're at it? Cold corpses speak louder than abstract freedoms, do they not? As long as that's true, Kirkwall needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. No matter what, Knight Commander. He has a point. Face the truth, Knight Commander. You are done. That is for me to decide. No one else. My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. Your Grace! He should be clapped in irons! Made an example of! That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down, like a good girl. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... Short of putting those two in cells, I doubt anything will keep them from each other. Sadly true. Gentle people of Kirkwall, Return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, Champion. Oh, that looks like the house special. Whiskey flavored with rat droppings. You don't have to keep checking up on me. I'm fine. I'm just here for the rat-flavored whiskey. Right. 
Remember what you said after the mess with the Kunari. I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. It may have been the right thing, but it was also the dumb thing. The relic was mine. I should have kept running. I couldn't have saved Kirkwall without you. Bullshit. You could have stormed the keep and slaughtered all those Canari if you had to. You and Aveline. I mean, look at her. She's a woman-shaped battering ram. The fact is, you and I have nothing in common anymore. You're a champion. And I'm just a lying, thieving snake. Whatever you think you are, I still care about you. It must have been hard to give up the relic, and I appreciate it. Whatever comes, you have my support. Well, perhaps it's time to stop hiding. And I do miss the trouble we used to get into. Tell you what, I'll be here if you need me. If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower Marsh, Kitten Marsh... No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Mark, what can I do for you? What was Anders here for? Only place in Kirkwall he can get a decent drink. Blondie comes by here and I put him on my tab. He's got some stories about his days in Ferelden that sound implausible, even to me. He's not bad for a mage. Crazy, but that's most everyone in this city. I wouldn't say no to a pint. I should make you buy the drinks, oh champion of Kirkwall. <laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Varric? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. I heard about the business in the square, Messiah. I hope there's no trouble from it. Now that you're the champion of Kirkwall, seems everyone wants something, don't they? Oh. Mistress Amel would have been very proud. Things have been very troubling these last few years, haven't they? I, uh, I was thinking that it might soon be time for my boy and I to move on. Back to the merchant's life, I suppose. It's an honor to serve the champion of Kirkwall. Make no mistake, but I'm getting older. It's time to see the Sandal's future. I'll stay on until arrangements are made. I hope that's all right. I'm almost tempted to go along with you. <laughs> Have a bit of the wanderlust yourself, eh? Hopefully this business with the Templars doesn't get worse before we go. I worry about you, Messiah. Fenris's reading has improved. I should pick out a new book for him to work on. So, you've done well for yourself. I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. He made a pretty good son anyway. Your mother would be proud. Uncle Gamlin, was that... affection? I'm feeling sentimental. We're the only family we've both got left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you've pulled it out of the grave. So, you're into elves, huh? I guess I don't have to ask which one of you's the girl. Guardsman? Duties for the week will be Lowtown Canvas. Five on, three off. City perimeter by twos. Clear by second watch. Training recruits full metal by week's end. Anything else, Captain? No. Thank you. Donicus. 
good man. I'm sorry, was there something you wanted? You never said how your three weeks in Orlé went. You're right. I didn't. Well, good for you. Anything else? Your men could give the Templars a run for their sovereigns. They've had to. As long as there's no Viscount, the Order thinks they can bark at any man in uniform. I won't have it. The people of Kirkwall need to see themselves in their guard. Lose that connection, we're just targets. Just checking in. Need anything? Yes, there's something. Come back soon. I'll get into it then. I'll see you later. Of course, Hawk. Well, look who it is. You. THE you. If you don't mind, I could do with a significant reduction in the amount of attention this office receives. A visit from the Champion is something of the opposite. I sense I am unwelcome in the halls of power. <laughs> power? I am just the hand on the seal, waxing what I'm told. Now I'm trapped under Templar scrutiny, waiting for them to note how easily I might be replaced. And it isn't going well? It is not going well. I'll leave you to it. But I'm easy to find if you need me. Good. Thank you. My door is always closed. Well, it's official. I have traveled all the way from the northern coast to the southern. Your master must have been a terrible man to make you hate Major so. He is a terrible man. He's not dead. We're not all like him. How often I hear that, and yet how often I find it's not true. The Keepers are different. They exist to preserve the old ways and to protect our people. And none of them would ever fall prey to a demon, or perform blood magic. It's impossible to talk to you. I can't imagine what Hawk sees in you. It is done. Leave it be. Well, good. I always knew he had some sense. Do not make light of this. Leaving was the hardest thing I've ever done. Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Fenhedis, first of us! Maybe I can help, Fenris. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus, after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. Your worried Daenerys knows. The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there. For the next week, at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. It really is, you. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... It's a trap. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris. Don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new master, then? The Champion of Kirkwall? 
Impressive. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Denarius. <sighs> the word is master. You are no longer my master. I had no choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister. You have no idea what we went through, what I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. Wait. Don't kill her. Why not? She was ready to see me killed. What is she to me other than just one more tool of the Magisters? Your sister's as much a victim as you were. Elf... Uh, Fenris. I know how hard this is to believe, but this is the last thing you want to do. Get out! You said you didn't ask for this, but that's not true. You wanted it. You competed for it. When you won, you used the boon to have Mother and I freed. Why are you telling me this? Freedom was no boon. I look on you now, and I think you received the better end of the bargain. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. I'm here, Fenris. You heard what Verania said. I wanted these. I fought for them. I feel unclean, like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. Let's go. I need to get out of here. Do you regret it? What happened with your sister, I mean? No. You don't wish that maybe you haven't found her again? Whatever I wish, it is already done. You're lucky, then. There are so many things I wish I could undo. You know, you could go anywhere you like now. I'm aware of that. Oh, you could become a raider. You could join my crew. The crew of your non-existent ship? Well, with that attitude, you're never going anywhere, are you? She doesn't understand. Yes, I am free. Denarius is dead. Yet, it doesn't feel like it should. You thought killing him would solve everything. But it doesn't. I suppose not. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? My sister is gone, and I have nothing. Not even an enemy. Maybe that just means there's nothing holding you back. Hmm. An interesting thought. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? You're still blaming magic for everything. Think about it, Hawk. Look at what happened to your mother. Look at the life you've had to lead. Is there anyone whose life has been touched by magic that actually benefits? You make a good point. For every mage such as you, Hawk, there are a dozen more too weak to handle their power. Them I fear, as should you, as should anyone. But what's important now is moving forward. I only wish I knew where that led. Wherever it leads, I hope it means we'll stay together. That is my hope, as well. 
We have never discussed what happened between us three years ago. You didn't want to talk about it? I felt like a fool. I thought it better if you hated me. I deserve no less. But it isn't better. That night... I remember your touch as if it were yesterday. I should have asked your forgiveness long ago. I hope you can forgive me now. I need to understand why you left, Fenris. I've thought about the answer a thousand times. The pain, the memories it brought up, it was too much. I was a coward. If I could go back, I would stay. Tell you how I felt. What would you have said? Nothing could be worse than the thought of living without you. Oh, I don't know. This might be fun to hold over you a while longer. If there is a future to be had, I will walk into it gladly at your side. So, you and Hawk? What about us? I want to make sure I get all the details right when I tell this story. Did he sweep you off your feet? I'm assuming he did the sweeping. He's taller than you. Awkward otherwise. I'm not telling you anything but this. There was no actual sweeping involved. Every little bit helps, Elf. I notice you hardly ever comment on mages and templars and such. That's a lot of humans in skirts. I get them mixed up. I highly doubt that. The subject comes up all the time. Tell me about it. And no opinion, one way or the other. Opinions are like testicles. You kick them hard enough, doesn't matter how many you got. That's... something. So who is Bianca? My crossbow. Say hello, Bianca. But why Bianca? You must have named her after someone. Nope. Mirabelle was taken. The way you fondle your weapon is disturbing. Hey, I'm a perfect gentleman. In public. You know you still owe me five sovereigns, Elf. I'm good for it. So you think you can win the coin from Isabella? <laughs> good luck with that. Coming to the Hanged Man for Wicked Grace later? Never miss it. I have a report you might find interesting. It tells of a chasm in the Vinmark Mountains, and a secret that was said to be buried within. Yet when the Chantry went to investigate, they were turned away by the Grey Wardens. And why would I find that interesting? Because the Champion was there! I can't help but notice you failed to mention this adventure. Oh, that? I didn't think you'd be interested. Just some business with Hawk's family, and a few Carter dwarves who went too far. <sighs> You're not going to believe me. I'll take my chances. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. There it is. It doesn't look all that dwarven. These are Carter Dwarves, so they're more criminals and smugglers than anything else. They're not usually stupid, though. I don't know why they'd attack you. They gave it their best shot. I can't believe they snuck into the Warden Keep at Ansberg. Don't feel left out. They've been trying to kill me for several days now. You have a plan, then? I found their hideout, but my sources couldn't tell me anything else. It's all very strange. Why do you say that? It's just the Carter, isn't it? As far as my contacts and the Carter know, they shouldn't be here. There shouldn't even be a here. Well, this place is invisible. A big blind spot on the map. Bianca's never been this suspicious, and she's twitchy to start with. Does it matter? We just need them to stop trying to kill us. A fine point. So, what's the plan? Oh, I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Later we'll all have tea and we'll laugh. Oh, your name is Hawk. I thought it was Locke. <laughs> yes, we were looking for some other combination of General and Ringmaster. Whatever happens, they won't get a chance to attack again. The Wardens know I couldn't let you do this alone. 
Not after an attack on both of us. Let's go. It's the whore! Listen. It's the Carter. They've seen us. They'll alert others to our presence. The time has come! Can you Glory. hear that? We'd best be careful. Why do the Carter have such a personal interest in you? The Carter wants to piss off a warden. So be it. You have any idea why the Carter's after you, Hawk? You! Both brothers! You're here together! You've come! Is he referring to you and me? Everyone! It's the children of Malcolm Hawk! They've come to us! What does my father have to do with this? It began with him, and ends with you. Blood for blood, that's what we were told. Did father cross the Carter somehow? You've come to us now, and that's the only thing that matters. You tell me! How could I refuse such a delightfully worded invitation? We must have the blood! You don't understand! Oh, blood. Why didn't you just ask? We will take it. Corypheus will walk in the sun once more. Did you hear? They're after us. For our blood. But why? Crazy people like blood. A lot. Clearly these dwarves are insane. Perhaps even more so than Varric. I heard that. The Carter doesn't normally act like this. They're businessmen. I'd like to know who this Corypheus is. With a name like that, he's bound to go mwahaha at some point, I just know it. And really? More blood? Why can't it ever be spit or, or a lock of hair? You really want to encounter a spit mage? For variety, sure. A dwarven prison? Dwarves don't do prisons, Elf. This is a trash heap. They threw something away here and hoped it wouldn't come back. Now this is unexpected. I thought all dwarves did was drink. Hey, now. And lie, yes. Pardon the omission. That's better. Someday I'll visit a place with no ancient evils, horrors, devouring plagues or insanity. Maybe a beach. The day you go to the beach would be the day an armada of angry demon pirates show up. The deep roads again. I suppose I'm lucky. That first trip, I could have ended up only six feet down. Ugh. Free marchers bury their dead, right? Or is that the Orlesians? Sometimes I forget what country I'm in. You must hate the Darkspawn. After what they did to your home? I don't know that I hate them, exactly. It's deeper than that. But I hate what happened to Bethany. And many more like her. Our hero. Not so much. But I'm trying. When you tell people about our escape from Lothering, why do you make it sound like I had food all over my face? You're larger than life, Hawk. I had to give you a few flaws just to make you approachable. Did you just call me fat? Yes, that's pretty much how I tell it. Hawk rolled into the fray like a gigantic pudding covered in gravy. It's more dramatic that way. Uh, does it have to be gravy? Couldn't it be chocolate instead? Ah, everyone's a critic. Varric, I've heard... Stories of a personal nature being spread around town. You're the champion of Kirkwall. People pay attention to everything you do. And everyone. I haven't told anyone about you and that uh, angsty Tevinter elf. Try looking closer to home for that intelligence leak. Angsty Tevinter elf? What can I say? I strive for accuracy. So... Fenris, we, uh, we haven't spoken since. You wish to do this here? In front of everyone? Kinky. That wasn't... 
Never mind. Thank you for asking me to come along again, Hawk. Why wouldn't I? More the merrier. I just... am pleased. To see you. That's all. Smooth. They want our blood. Guess they didn't get the news about mine going bad. What's it to do with father? The master, Corypheus. Clearly, these dwarves have found a demon to worship. But why would it seek your blood? I guess we only get that answer from Corypheus. Good sign. And not how I want to think of father. If this has to do with your father, we'd better get our hands on this key. How is it you get into these situations so often? What do you mean? Hmm. Attacked by dwarves, approached by strangers, stumbling upon ancient riddles. Madness. It's a gift. <laughs> well, I think you should return it. So, Varric, this spy network of yours... Oh, this I have to hear. You don't have one, do you? You make it all up. Could be. That or I have an army of elven urchins. And they're all watching. You are a strange, hairy little man. <laughs> you, elf, are one lucky son of a bitch. Is this about the Diamondback game? Again? I've never seen anyone bluff like that in my life. I was sure you had a handful of nothing. <laughs> so was I. You're the one who pointed out I had four serpents. See? Luckiest bastard I've ever seen. The Hawk's blood. The Master will rise. He will be free. Garav? Varric? No, no one told me you would be part of this. We were just going after the Hawk. Why has the Carter been attacking me? I can't say. The Master must be free. Really, Gaurav? I thought better of you than this. I mean, gutting the occasional competitor for fun and profit, that's the game. But what are you all even doing here? Worshipping demons? We drink the Darkspawn blood. He calls us. Why would you do that? Won't you just die? It's the only way to hear the music. Oh, come on, you nug licker. Snap out of it. There's no gold in hallucinating. Manners, Varric. Introduce me to your lunatic friend. Hawk, this is Garav. He's a greedy, brilliant bastard son of a nug from the Carter. Garav, this is Hawk. The one whose blood you want to drink or bathe in or whatever. But if you're after eternal youth, I've got to tell you. He's no virgin. The Master is calling. He needs the blood. Garav, buddy. This isn't like you. Look, I've still got Bianca. Never misfired a day in her life. You don't want her to see her papa like this, do you? Varric, you want to spare this bastard? Not if he's after you, Hawk. Bianca, I think it's time to say goodbye. Enforcements, you bastard! You poor, stupid bastard. I used to do business with the Carter back in the day. Garav was a nutcase then, too, but in a good way. He was trying to design a new type of repeating crossbow. Bianca was the only one that ever worked. I can't believe he ended up like that. Ha! Ah. They told me you were going to be trouble. And look, you brought the whole family. How generous. I swore to Corypheus we'd bring him Malcolm Hawk's blood, one way or the other. What does this have to do with my father? The Master wants you. I don't ask why. So it's Corypheus who's after me? What Corypheus wants, Corypheus gets. From us, or from someone. Corypheus wants some blood. 
Sure, let me just open a vein. How about a kidney, too? Corythius, we have done as you command. Your sacrifice is here. You will see the surface once more. Enchantment needed to do that. What did Father know? This is going to take me to Corypheus. Those sons of bitches. The whole blasted thing sealed over. I guess we should have seen that coming. They wonder why I prefer the surface. Another mess. Is it terrible that I'm glad Mother isn't around to suffer this? We do attract a peculiar kind of fortune. I died my way into the Wardens, and you punched your way to Champion. We are esteemed. Go with your strengths, I guess. Be bound here for eternity. Hunger stilled. Rage smothered. Desire dampened, pride crushed. In the name of the Maker, so let it be. I could do nothing about the Warden's use of demons in this horrid place. But I will have no one say any magic of mine ever released one into the world. Who was that? I feel like I know that voice. It sounded like Father, but how? The key! Did they find it? The dwarves. I heard them. Looking. Digging. How do you bring the key here? You mean this? How is this a key? Magic. Old magic it is. Magic from the blood. It made the seals. It can destroy them. I came in here to find Corypheus. Do you know where or what he is? Do not say his name. He will hear you. Do not wake him. Not when you hold the key. Let me guess. You want to drink my blood too? Blood? The blood of the hawk? Are you the hawk? Yes. I smell magic on you. But you hold the key. The key to his death. Yes, I can show you out. Yes. Who are you? What's wrong with you? You ask me that? I am the one who belongs here, not you. You are no dark spawn. That armor. It's warden issue. No one has that. You hear it, no? Hear it calling. I smell it in you. I know the way out. Follow me. Down and in, down and in. Perfect. What do I need to do? The seals hold us in. Anything comes in. Nothing ever leaves. Not without the key. You must use it, yes. On the seals. Every seal. You touch the key to it. Only then they open. Only for the hawk. Not back. Not up. Only way out is down and through the heart. Down. Down in the depths. Careful. Things down here, they can get complicated. The corruption of that man. I've been a warden how long? And I've never seen anything like that. I guess that's why I'm still alive. To stop that. And dumb luck. That's the other reason you're alive. <laughs> Credit where due, I suppose. Let me guess. The first seal. To 
thousand years, the magic holds. Never broken. Give it the key. Let it take the magic back to itself. Absorb it. All who came before. The blood works. It is good. All this talk about my blood is a little creepy. Are you at least planning to tell me your name? Name? So long since I've said my name. I... I... Lorias. I was Lorias. There was a, a title too. Commander. Commander of the Grey. Then you're... Like me, that's so far gone. You've had your calling. Yes, the calling. The songs get louder. Only death stops them. I am dead. But I never died. How does a warden end up like this? I thought you were immune to the taint. It's more complicated than that, unfortunately. Eventually... The calling. It comes to us all. The voice we can't resist. Our death. If you're a warden, then do you know what just happened? What does the seal have to do with my blood? The magic. It calls to the blood, reads the thoughts of those who hold it. The last to hold it. The hawk. I... I was there when he laid the seals. Before... I became this. You favor him. Corypheus calls... in the darkness. What waits there? It seems your blood is special, Hawk. Why am I not surprised? I felt something after that seal. We have a thing. The joining. It was in the blood. Like that. The sooner we find our way out of here, the better. I may have left the circle, but I took a vow. My magic will serve that which is best in me, not that which is most base. That which is best in me. Father used to say that, didn't he? To you and Bethany. She never felt like she could live up to him. I hope they're together, wherever they are. Talking about magic, gossiping about us. How deep does this hole go? I've bought our freedom, Leandra. We can go home now. Us and the baby. We'll be together. I hope it takes after you, love. I would wish this magic on no one. May they never learn what I've done here. Father didn't want a child with magic. He got that one wrong twice over. He sure didn't show any regret back home. The attention he gave you and Bethany. Well... I guess he figured the worst that could happen to me was tripping on my sword. You did trip on your sword. A lot. My weapon's not a walking stick. And the first time I wore armor, it was like strapping a topsy water barrel to my head. Just as dangerous as your demons. Sort of. I did sometimes worry for you two. Bethany just wanted to be normal. As if I made a good case for it. She knew what we could be. Glad to see you're starting to see it, too. We'll see, I suppose. As far as we get, they're still gone. I'm tired of losing things. I miss her and father. And mother. You, sometimes. Gambling can go suck an egg. Come on. This mess down here is not following us out. He is waking. The magic grows lax. He feels us walk where no step goes. Are you talking about Corypheus? He calls. 
Like an old god, he mimics their cry. He calls them to free him. The dark children and the light, any with taint in their blood. If Corypheus isn't an old god, what is he? Human? Demon? Darkspawn? More than Darkspawn. More than human. He thinks. He talks. He pierces the veil. You're talking about an awakened Darkspawn. The Wardens have only encountered them once. He wants what was once his. Why are you down here? How have you survived? The calling. The music. It is our death. The corruption. Once it gets that bad, the Darkspawn can't sense you anymore. The last advantage. Yes. I lived. But... I died. The corruption feeds me. So many years in darkness. When you run off, where do you go? I know the darkness before the seals. Here, the voice is too strong. I cannot stay. The Legion of the Dead, sent after Paragon Garen's heir. Why does that sound familiar? I think Garen was sometime in the early Exalted Age, hundreds of years ago. Do you think they found him? Who knows? That's where I know the name. Tethra's Garen should have been the heir to the Garen clan. But he was accused of killing his sister and sent into the Deep Roads to die. When the real murderer was caught, they tried to find him. They never could. Instead, every Garen heir from that time on took the name Tethris in his honor. One of them became a paragon in his own right, and founded my clan. I'm sorry. This is a hard way to learn about your family. So this was one of your ancestors? Not directly, but uh, a little closer than I like to come to my past, you know. Atras Tunsha. For Tanya Amegto Tavashai Duke. That was sweet, Hawk. Now let's get out of here before you see me cry. How can anything live here? What do the Dark Spawn feed on? He feels the seals weaken. He knows you are close. You must be ready. What's that? Who? No! No! They're here! Who is they? The Carter? No, worse. More treacherous, more dangerous. The Wardens! They listen to Corypheus. They want to bring him the light. Stop them. You must stop them. Something's happening. The prison's breaking down. But it stood up to tunneling before. What can... <gasps> You. You have the key. And you've come through the seals. But how? Champion? Are you the one? The same hawk, child of Malcolm? The Carter said they were close. You must be him. I am Janica. I lead this unit of Grey Wardens. Senior Warden, why are you interested in my father? Then you don't know. Without Malcolm, this prison would have fallen 30 years ago. Let me guess. It had something to do with this fancy thing? The Grey Wardens built this prison to contain one of the most powerful Darkspawn we've ever encountered. But even the best magic fades. The Wardens need to reinforce the seals. This requires the blood of a mage untainted by Warden training. The last to perform the ritual was your father. My father was a blood mage? To avert the blights. Forbidden magics are sometimes necessary. For us, maybe. My father knew better. He did not bind the demons, if that is your concern. That was done in another era, before the Chantry's laws. Why do my family stories never involve embarrassing vacations in Antiva? We need your help, Hawk. I have done extensive research on this Darkspawn, and I believe the original Wardens were wrong. He isn't a threat to humanity. He's our greatest opportunity. 
A darkspawn who can talk, feel, reason. Corypheus cares nothing for blights. He used you. The Warden Commander? Don't listen to this creature. He's half darkspawn himself. I know how to harness Corypheus. Use his magic to end the blights. No! The Wardens knew. Corypheus is too powerful. There are rules to the Order, and with good reason. Father wouldn't want this. Worth the risk. If he doesn't help, it's one more big darkspawn to stick a bolt in. No big deal. A darkspawn and a mage. Just what the world needs. Corypheus calls her, and she listens. She brought him the Carter, sent them for you. Stroud wouldn't let me have your brother. I need you. Why would this Darkspawn want to end the Blight? He is no mindless monster. This search for the old gods comes at a terrible cost to his people. He tricked you. These are not your thoughts. They are his calling. How many of them died in Ferelden alone? And that was the least of the Blights. How could you trust any deal this Darkspawn makes with you? Do not think me foolish, Hawk. I am making no deal. I have a spell which can control Corypheus. Bind him to my will. He will be a new, important weapon in the war on the Blights. No more, no less. Are you talking about using blood magic? Everything that was done to him was through the power of blood. The Wardens imprisoned Corypheus before the Chantry banned such magic. It is the only way to hold him. A convenient excuse. Corypheus may be as great a threat as the next Blight. We can't risk freeing him. We'll find a way to do this with or without you, Hawk. This prison will be broken. The Blights will end. Come. With me! We will beat them to the seal! You're too late, Lorias. Hand over Hawk, and I'll give you a quick death. Hawk has made his choice. The right one. The right choice, or the only choice? Malcolm Hawk was not allowed to disagree. It is the past. It doesn't matter. Lorias? What does Janica mean by not allowed? How does she know this? Alec, did you tell her? Malcolm Hawk was reluctant. Had to be... persuaded. I was Warden Commander. It was my duty. I delivered an ultimatum. Help us. Or you'll never see her again. You did what? You were going to kill our mother? No, never. He came with us. I never had to decide her fate. She was never told about what passed between Malcolm and me. That doesn't excuse it. You see, Hawk? How can you trust anything Lorias says? Lorias' threats were reprehensible. But he's still right about Corypheus. You can come willingly or not, Hawk. I just need your blood. He stirs. Slay him now before he wakes, before his strength comes. The key, it's not strong enough. Use your blood, free him and slay him. Look, that seems to have weakened the spell. Just three more to go. Are you certain this is a good idea? It takes hawk blood to open his prison. I imagine he won't stop until he has what he wants. Oh, isn't that always the way with these ancient prisons? You feel that? It's like something is lifting.
this some dream I wake from? Am I in dwarven lands? Why see no roads so empty? Yo, serve you at the Temple of Dumat? Bring me hence. I must speak with the first acolyte. He speaks of the old gods, the Imperium. You are no man. Do you belong to the Empire? Or be you of dwarven blood? How come you here? Whoever you be, you owe fealty to any Magister of Tevinter. On your knees. All of you. You're a dark spawn. Dark spawn, ravaging the deep road, spreading the blight. Does this ring a bell? You are what held me. I smell the blood in you. You mad? Lord, tell me, what waking dream is this? The light. We sought the golden light. You offered the power of the gods themselves. But it was black, corrupt. Darkness ever since. How long? The Golden City. The first violation. The Magisters who brought the Blight. The original Magisters? It is their depravities the Magisters of today strive to live up to. If they still exist in any form, we should wipe them from the face of Thedas. He tainted the world. He speaks to all who carry the corruption. Darkspawn wardens. He brought Janneke here. Brought you. If he's been calling the wardens to free him, what's his plan? He seems confused. He slept. While the seals held, he could not wake. He knows nothing of time that passed. We must kill him now, before he comes to. First he went after the Maker in his house, then me in mine. I'm honored. The city! It was supposed to be golden! It was supposed to be ours! If I cannot leave with you, I will leave through you. I seek the light! You did well, Hawk. More than the Grey Wardens of old were able to accomplish. I will tell the Warden Commander of your service here. I'd be careful. We don't usually come back from the calling. I must try. You've gained an ally today. Why are you talking like that? My head is clear now. Without Corypheus's call, I can think again. I thank you for my freedom. And here I thought I'd just gained a headache. I will never forget what you did here. The prison stands no more. My gratitude you have for my freedom. I said you wouldn't believe me. When the Seekers arrived at the structure, this prison, it was destroyed. The Grey Wardens were there, but they did not mention this Lorias. They claimed everyone was dead. And now you claim the Champion was not only there, but defeated a Magister. One of the Magisters of old. Left there by the Wardens themselves. A curious tale. I wonder if there's more to it. A small matter. A moment for the last of the family and an echo. 
You'll forgive me if I take a liberty or two. The attacks. Darkspawn. Every bloody part of it. All because of what happened years ago. What he did for Mother. For all of us, really. It's not right that Mother isn't here to... I don't know. Just listen, I guess. I want to talk to her. I know it was hard. How much time he had to spend with Bethany and I. He started training me too. Best he could. Then I picked up some things from those soldiers who came through. Remember when I beat him? Took the blade clean away. He was holding back. On magic? Sure. But not the blade. After that. Well. He knew I could handle the house while he was off with you two. I suppose I see why he was so concerned. You know, I don't think we had it that bad. For a while. A short while. I think I blinked and missed it. I think... I think it'll be alright, you know. Not real soon, mind you. <laughs> I suppose it will. Not real soon. Take care, brother. Malcolm would be happy you two aren't at each other's throats. Not all the time. He sacrificed so we would have a life free to choose. Must have been a terrible burden. Much like the burden you've assumed. I do what I can. Sometimes it doesn't seem like enough. You know, your father tried to help people the same way. Tried to fix trouble he saw in others. The best of him is still with you. The best of all of us. It's what makes you try so hard. You will always have that. We will always be family. It'll be all right. So, Gamlin couldn't even be bothered to come himself. I should have expected he'd send you, cousin. You have a cousin? I have a cousin. Gamlin never told you. I... Of course he didn't. Why would he? Sorry to interrupt this touching family reunion. But we have unfinished business here. Veld! What are you doing here? Mechel is dead. That bastard killed him. What's a Mechel? My brother. Mechel was my brother. And you killed him. That doesn't make sense. Mechel was just supposed to hand over the note. You really think we didn't read it? We know about the gem charade. Hand it over. I won't let Mechel's death be for nothing. You let your brother go up against someone like Hawk for a stupid gem? You know what? I did find the gem, but you're not getting your pathetic little hands on it, Veld. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. You're pretty useful in a fight. You don't take after Gamlin at all. And I wouldn't have taken you for his daughter. What with being able to fight? I guess I should take that as a compliment. My mother, Mara. She left Gamlin before I was born. He was so fixated on finding that stupid gem. I doubt he even noticed she was gone. She told me about Gamlin before she died last year. I didn't even know about him. You told Veld you had the gem. Were you lying? Not at all. I found the gem. I managed to pull off what Gamlin couldn't. You say Gamlin is obsessed with this gem, but he never mentioned it before your note turned up. Maybe he didn't want you to know about it. He mentioned he lost a lot searching for the gem. Maybe he gave up on it. That would be a surprise, to say the least. Next time you want to talk to someone, maybe try knocking on their door first. Oh yes, that sounds brilliant. Just show up on his doorstep and say, Hi, I'm your daughter. I doubt that would go over well. I just wanted to see, I don't know, how far he'd go for something he really wanted. And then he doesn't even show up. I baited him with the one thing I thought would get his attention. He's got some good qualities. You might be surprised. Really? What do you think I should do? 
I think you should go talk to Gamlin. Does he even know about you? I... I'm not sure. Having family might be more worthwhile than you think. Maybe give him a chance before you write him off. I think I will. Having a cousin turned out to be a good thing. Maybe having a father will too. You've got to realize this is kind of new to me. I didn't know Mara had a baby. If I did, I would have... I don't know... gone after her or something. She used to say I was so much like you, and I didn't even know who you were. I guess I wanted to see for myself. I need some time to think about all this, but... if it's all right, I'd like to come back and talk more. I think I'd like that. Uh, keep, um, uh, safe. Looks like you two had a good talk. It was bloody awkward, that's what. I was worried she wouldn't come find you. I think you need each other. You know, I may not say this very often, but I'm glad you're one of the family. But seriously, next time, stay out of my damn business, boy. There's a war coming. Does it feel different, fighting by choice? You were never ordered to kill? I was a soldier, but I was willing. I was willing as well, but not by choice. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Does anything in this mess. Thank you for that tip, Fenris. You caught them then? Yes. A whole nest of slave runners working out of the Undercity. I imagine you imprisoned them? Sadly, they never made it to prison. You always know how to make me smile, Aveline. Do you feel like a citizen, Fenris? Excuse me? You've been in Kirkwall as long as I have. Does it feel like home? It feels. That itself has been a surprise. I think I know what you mean. I was speaking to Donick the other day. Since when do you talk with my husband? He comes to the mansion once a week. We play Diamond Bag. What? Why am I not invited to these games? He says you get angry when you lose. I do not. All right, perhaps I do. Still, that's no reason not to tell me. He's a good man, Aveline. I enjoy his visits. Fine, fine. Have your man time, then. So, Donick was in the Rose. He was not. Easy, big girl. He wasn't shopping for himself. You're lucky to have a man who wants to please you. But maybe you could indulge him more. Are there areas of intimacy you haven't explored? Why? Why do you give me these doubts? Aveline, if you shove your thumb up his ass, I win. <laughs> fish, fish, and more fish. Boah. Let's look for those crates. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. It must have taken a lot of practice to say that all in one breath. It's mostly to impress the ladies, I assure you. I've come to ask your help, champion. Hiding among the Dalish is an elven assassin I've been chasing for months. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. You want me to use my wily, wily ways to find out where the Dalish are hiding this elf? That is part of it, yes. This elf is very dangerous, and he must be brought in before he kills again. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. 
We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. Now you, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled Antivan leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? Tell me, is this one as adventurous as our dear Warden? We could always ask. Ah, I do love an audience. But perhaps there are other matters to attend to first. Prude. How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, other men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you are a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and, may I say, one fine specimen of manhood? You underestimate your fame. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? He also said you were a wanted murderer. Oh, indeed I am. Uh, but technically, I imagine everyone here can rightfully claim that title. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends. Unlike myself. But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nancio. Which will it be, I wonder? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the Crows. You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. I let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The Crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the Warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here! Yes, well... Let's see how that works out for you. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? Ah, Isabella. I did so miss you. 
That's because you have piss poor aim. Thankfully, you have other uses. That girl has curious standards. Are we sure he was part of a guild of assassins? So you engaged a Kunari dreadnought in battle? They engaged me in battle. I was just trying to get away. Sailing into the storm was a gamble. Took care of the dreadnought, but it did us in too. Can't win them all. Where I come from, we would call that insanity. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I still can't believe Hawk saved you. You've been saying that for years. Would you have turned me over to the Canari? No, but I know what they do to their prisoners. Execute them horribly, I imagine. The Canari waste nothing. They would re-educate you into a loyal follower of the Kuhn. <laughs> Could I refuse? There's always Kamek, which turns you into a mindless laborer. Like I said, they waste nothing. Oh. If you wish to thank Hawk, he's standing right there. You seem especially broody today. Does it bother you? Should I stop? No, don't stop. But could you add some smoldering to the routine, just for me? Smolder? Oh, and while you're at it, perhaps some cold insolence. You want me to smolder and be cold at the same time? Those don't go together. Shush. Don't distract me with your logic. Come on, Daisy. You've been holed up in here for days. If you don't get some sunshine, you'll wilt. I'm not a plant, Beric. I'm fine. Just take a walk around the low town market. Get some air, and I'll stop bothering you. I... know you mean well, but I have too much to do right now. I'll let you talk some sense into her, Hawk. Beric is... very sweet. Frequently infuriating and a terrible busybody, but sweet. Were you looking for me? Nothing's wrong, is it? I'm sure something is wrong somewhere in Kirkwall. But right now it can wait. And I'm being a poor host, as usual. The other day in Lowtown Market, I thought I saw Mahariel. Impossible as that is. The Lost Warden. I don't know what it meant. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'm going mad. I miss them all. Even the Keeper. I'm sure the Keeper would like to see you again. I'm sure she would. She loves to lecture. I bet her new first appreciates that. I wish I could have seen it. It doesn't matter. I'm here now. Maybe Varric was right. Shall we go out for a bit? I could use some sunshine. Letheline, I need to ask you for a favor. I thought the Arulin home would be the last thing I needed, but the Illuvian still won't work. I think... I think I have to go back to the... spirit that helped me at the start of all this. Why do you think this demon will help? He knows about the mirror. I don't know how much. He won't tell me everything, and it's dangerous to trust. He said he witnessed its forging. He told me how to cleanse it of its corruption. He must know how to make it work. What do you mean it doesn't work? Well, look at it. Do you think it's supposed to just sit there and show nothing at all? I can feel the power in it, but it's like it's asleep. I can't seem to wake it. Summoning a demon can't possibly be the only way to fix the mirror. Someone else must know something. The Illuvian was lost before Arlathan fell. The only creatures who would know anything about it are in the Fade. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. You would risk becoming an abomination for this mirror. How is it worth that? If it brings back this artifact of the Elven, if it gives us even one piece of our history, it's worth any risk. There's no one else I trust. Letheline, please, come with me. I don't want anything bad to happen. If you're determined to do this, then I'll come with you to make sure nothing goes wrong. Ah, oh, Saranus, you've no idea what a relief that is. 
The demon is sealed in a cave on Sandermount. The sooner we get this over with, the better. Something is wrong. This is where the spirit was bound. But now it feels... empty. Who bound this demon here and why? There was a war long ago between my people and the Tevinter Imperium. After the Magister sank Arlathan, my people made a last stand here, fighting on the graves of our elders. I've heard of this. A final vengeful strike. They unleashed chaos upon this mountain to teach our people that resistance was futile. I don't know if it was the Elvenan or Tevinter who bound the spirit, but he was left here from the war. How are we going to finish the mirror now? I don't know. I don't understand what's happened. How can he be gone? I happened. Keeper, what have you done? The demon's plan was always for you to complete the mirror. It would have been a doorway out of this prison and into our world. You would have been his first victim. I couldn't let that happen, Dalen. He didn't think to mention that the demon was gone before we hiked all the way up here. It's not gone. I couldn't fight it in the Fade while it was trapped. And I couldn't banish it without making it stronger. So, I made myself its prison. Kill me, and it dies too. Meryl will finally be safe. No! You can't ask the... I won't do this! You always knew your blood magic had a price, Darlene. I have chosen to pay it for you. Dareth Shira. Your Yaskal is a dangerous thing, man. What have you done? What have you brought upon our clan, you monster? Everyone has fed me. Dalen. Keeper. You've beaten it, Dalen. You are so much stronger than I imagined. The demon is dead. Keeper, I... Let's leave this awful place. The clan should hear the good news. You told us that the demon was bound to your life. It would only die with you. Irabalas Keeper. feel like an idiot and she'll scold me for not listening. Getting possessed never helps anything. If she hadn't have been so stubborn, if she had listened to me, she never believed in me. I... I should go to the clan. Someone needs to know, needs to come and... take care of her. We know the Keeper came here. What's going on? Where is she?
Fenerol. The Keeper, she. Look at her, Fenerol. She's covered in blood. What have you done, Meryl? Keeper, can you hear me? She's dead. I should have guessed you'd turn on her, you monster. This was a tragedy. I promise you, I'll make sure no one else is hurt by Meryl's blood magic. You expect us to take the word of a Shemlin? Stand down, Anaria. She was our first once. The Keeper loved her. More than she loved the clan, it seems. Feneral, I'm sorry. I never wanted this. If I could have saved her, if I could have died instead, I would have. Words are cheap. That you're still breathing says enough. Enough, Anaria. Human, take Meryl away from here. This keeper of yours, she was a friend? She was like a mother to me. To all of us. Then I'm sorry. No, you're not. She's just one more mage to you. Why would you be sorry she's dead? I'm not sorry she's dead. I'm only sorry she died for you. What? Let's hope the sacrifice of someone who cared for you that much isn't wasted. I'm going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. We've both been wrong. What I did with justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. I'm glad you finally understand that. I can't help mages like this. Not while I am everything the Templars fear about magic. I need to be free of this curse. I never heard of anyone getting unpossessed. I've spent the past three years researching the methods of Tevinter Magisters. Why am I not surprised? They're the only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession, not just behead the victims. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate justice and me, without killing either. Is it dangerous? There are always dangers with magic. But I believe this will be worth the cost. That was going to be my next question. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... What? Nothing. I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some... outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tevinters call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. Where would we find Celepetre? It's a crystal that forms from concentrated manure and urine. Ew. We can't just buy it somewhere. It's not used by mages here. There's no reason for any merchant to stock it. I suggest we search the sewers. There's an entrance not far from here in Darktown. Is it just a potion? Is there anything more to this ritual? No, no ritual. Just mix the ingredients up and... Boom. Justice and I are free. And we can take our rightful place among free mages. We're not looking for virgin's blood, or the tongue of a hanged man, or anything, are we? Well, you know Tevinters. They can't throw a winter send party without a human sacrifice or two. But I promise, everything in my research says there's no blood magic involved. I know it isn't my place to criticize, but... Are you sure about Fenris? He seems less a man to me than a wild dog. You just don't know him. I know as much as I'm ever likely to. That's right, mage. He has let one bad experience color his whole world. Surely you want someone more open-minded. A mage and a hypocrite. What company you keep. There is one more thing I would ask of you, Hawk. And I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry, without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. Tell me your plan. You would not thank me if I told you. If you support freedom for mages, help me. That's all I can say. What is it you don't want me to see? You said you believe in me. Again and again you have shown your support for mages. Then trust me now. I am doing only what is necessary. Was this ever about you and justice? Or have you lied this whole time? I lied. There is no potion. But what we have gathered will bring freedom for more than just me and justice. It will help mages throughout Fadus. In the face of that, 
One lie means little. I can't act blindly. Tell me your plan. I am taking a risk. I would not see you drawn into it. But maybe your support of mages ends at talk. It's easier to support freedom if no one must die to achieve it. You cannot pretend friendship, then stop now. Being a friend doesn't mean I have to agree with your every decision. You cannot care for me and despise what I stand for. I am the cause of mages. There is nothing else inside me. Will you aid us now? Or does your support stop at the Chantry door? That's unfair. I will not be blackmailed into aiding some mad scheme. You're on your own. I have always been on my own. For a time, I just forgot. Do you still support the Knight Commander? I don't care a fig for her. But she's the only one holding back the madness in this city. Holding back? She's howling at the bloody moon. Even her own people think she's lost it. What will it take for you to see that she's crazy? Mages in glass houses shouldn't throw fireballs. By now, you must see what an injustice the Templars are. Must I? I see Templars trying to control what they have good reason to fear. But they go too far. Talk to Hawk about his mother. Ask him who went too far. You can't hold all mages responsible for that. It doesn't take all mages to cause this. Only the weak ones. Not all mages are weak. True. Hawk, for instance, is not weak. You specifically don't mention me. That's also true. I'll prove to you that I'm not weak. Prove it to yourself. You're convincing no one else. Poor Anders. You pity him. He's dangerous to himself and everyone around him. I think he's broken the thing he wanted to save. You pity him because he's you. Breaking the things you love most isn't restricted to mages, Fenris. Sadly true. Do you never intend to give a public answer, Your Grace? What have I been asked? About the mages. You could calm this fire if you stepped forward. The Chantry's teachings are clear. Those who turn against them would not listen more to me than to Andraste. Mage this, Templar that. Is there anywhere in Kirkwall people don't talk about this? No. And I've looked, believe me. Even the rats in Darktown are following this mess. Really? Which side are they on? About a third support the Templars, a third are pro-mage, and the rest support more cheese for both sides. The last time mages rebelled against the Chantry, they ended up ruling Tavinta. Should we just ignore them? I knew I liked you. I did not expect things to deteriorate so fast. I thought after the Canari, no one would wish for more violence. It has drawn more attention than I would like. Sebastian, if I can ask... Anything, Your Grace. And the Champion, too, if you will. I can't imagine any way this will go wrong. What would you have of us? The Divine is concerned about the situation here. She does not want to see the Free Marches become another Imperium. She has sent an agent to assess the danger. Meet with her, please. Tell her drastic measures won't be required. I don't want to see the Divine's armies march against Kirkwall. Could we keep the Exalted marching to a minimum? I keep all my stuff in Kirkwall. Surely the Divine wouldn't treat the whole city as enemies. She is concerned. It is never wise to draw the concern of the powerful. She is the voice of Andraste. She cannot turn the might of the Chantry against the innocent due to proximity. Were no innocents harmed in the Exalted Marches? She will do her best, Sebastian. But she must act first to protect the Faith. What can you tell me about this Servant of the Divine? I was not told her real name. Only to call her Sister Nightingale. She is said to be the Divine's left hand. Sent to do work that might blacken the Divine's name. This cannot wait. Thank you. 
We cannot allow this ridiculous mage rebellion to turn into holy war. The agent, Sister Nightingale, will be waiting in the Viscount's throne room tonight. She wishes to remain unseen. The room has been sealed since the Canary incident. It may be difficult to get in without attracting attention. So, even the Divine fears us now. She should. Kill the spies! The Resolutionists. I might have known they would be part of this. Are you Sister Nightingale? I am. Or you may call me Liliana. The Divine sent me to investigate the possibility of a rebellion here, in Kirkwall. I have some experience in unconventional situations. The Leliana, who accompanied the hero of Ferelden to slay the Archdemon. Ah, I see it will be harder to remain anonymous so near the Ferelden border. Yes, I knew the hero of Ferelden. Perhaps you have heard the songs I wrote of our time together. But that was many years ago. I am working for the Divine now, in Orlais. I had not thought to return to this part of Thedas. Who were the Resolutionists? An offshoot of a fraternity within the Circle of Magi. Supported by the Magisters. There's no proof of that. I bet a lot of mages think they'd enjoy Tevinter's freedoms and completely forget that few ever achieve the power to enjoy them. There have always been factions that support freedom from the Chantry, and the abolition of the Circle. We have tolerated them, but the Resolutionists have become violent. They are likely behind the unrest here. I hardly imagined the Divine Secret Agent looking like you. That is why I am effective. The Divine has long suspected that Kirkwall's problems were spurred by an outside group. This attack proves she is right. Are you saying you set this whole thing up? I let word slip that an agent of the Divine was coming to investigate the mage troubles. It is how they chose to react which condemns them. Will the Divine send soldiers? Divine Justinia takes the situation here very seriously. She believes it is the worst threat to Thedas since the Cunara invaded. A handful of apostates. How can that possibly... <laughs> the whole world is watching Kirkwall. If it falls to magic, none of us are safe. Tell Elthina to leave. There is refuge for her at the Grand Cathedral in Orle. She will not be safe here. What would you say to an exciting trip to Orlais? I hear the Grand Cathedral's lovely this time of year. What? You were right. The Divine will be taking action against Kirkwall, though the sister didn't say what. You must take the holy relics from the Chantry and leave for safety. Sebastian, I'm surprised at you. Andraste would not thank me for saving a few dusty finger bones and my own skin at the cost of people's lives. Are you saying you will not flee? When I became Grand Cleric, I took a vow to the people of Kirkwall and the Free Marches. I will not leave my flock. Would you let yourself die? There is no greater devotion than to lay one's life at the Maker's feet. There is no better death than to take the blow for another. You don't hear that one quoted often, do you? Please, Your Grace. Sister Nightingale thinks there will be war. Then, I must make peace. Settle yourself, Sebastian. I'm in no personal danger. I am Grand Cleric. Who would dare attack me? If you will not shield yourself, then I will be your shield. You will come through this safely by the Maker's name. I swear it. I saw you at the Chantry last week, Fenris. But I haven't seen you back since. I was only delivering something. You needn't concern yourself. But you were praying. Or was that part of the delivery? I was... trying to blend in. Oh yes. 
You wouldn't want to ruin your reputation. Don't you have a city to reconquer? Terrible things do happen, Sebastian. But what we see is only a piece of the puzzle. Only the Maker can see the greater picture. The guilty prosper, innocents die. And then they are brought to the side of the Maker. Their suffering ends. There is always a greater purpose. Daenerys once killed a little boy to fuel blood magic that let him impress his fellow senators at a party. What was the purpose there? Perhaps it was witnessing that which will give you the strength to prevent it ever happening again. It's our duty to tell the Templars. Then why haven't you done it? I guess I was hoping they'd come to it on their own. And then you wouldn't have to betray Hawk's friends, right? That's not reason enough to allow a Maleficar to walk free. Are you talking about me? Which of us should do it? Shall we draw lots? Uh -uh. You want to turn them in? You work it out with Hawk. Hawk? Ugh. This is awkward. You? At a loss for words? I should mark this day on my calendar. Enjoy this while it lasts. It might never happen again. <laughs> Look. I just want to say, it has been an honor knowing you. Are you about to die? Am I? Why so serious all of a sudden? Don't panic, I just needed to get that off my chest. You know it's six years today. Six years since I found you dragging your tail out of Bartran's office. <laughs> Here's to whatever comes next. Let me guess, that's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. That's just Meredith's idea of Kirkwall hospitality. Really? Kirkwall brutality? You must rip the skin off your face, then. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. We... We heard the Dalish were given land in Ferelden. Is it true? Yes. I wish I could say that went better. Why? What happened? It's a long story. I... I intend to make it up to your people, however. I owe an old friend of mine too much to do otherwise. I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. Things are looking up. It's not often I get called on to meet with foreign leaders. I know you came here from Lothering, a Ferelden refugee that did well for himself, against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlay. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlais isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlais? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Ferelden will always be my home. I hope we see you back there someday. We could use someone like you, champion. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. 
That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle, of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Huh. Easier said than done. I'm sure there's something you can do. Perhaps some things are better left alone. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. What do you need me to do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Just me standing between the city and disaster, huh? I've been there. Trust me, it isn't pretty. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. You've been wasting my time, Beric. It stops now. Seeker, you wound me. The champion nearly starts a war, and you're all too happy to bury it beneath your words. You will tell me about the Kunari. What's left to say? The Arashok was killed and a champion crowned. And yet we had Orlesians threatening sanctions of every kind and measure. What happened at Chateau Hain? What happened with Talis? You've heard about her? We had someone there, but they lacked your access. Whatever Talis was to the champion, it seems like it angered a nation. Thousands of lives were at stake, Seeker. Perhaps one still is. Huh. Nicely non-specific. <clears throat> All right, let me set the scene. An ambush, an invitation, a hunting party. All because of Talus. And of course, there's no one. All I know is it had something to do with you and nobles. Edge is usually very reliable. That's what you get for listening to someone named Edge. This is normally when we're ambushed. Why? It's not always an ambush. All right. Maybe sometimes it's an ambush. And there is the champion of Kirkwall. You die today. Oh! What are you waiting for? Sloppy. You'd think the crows would be better at this. They've been doing it for ages. Were these crows a gift from you? That's generous. Oh, I didn't arrange this, but it's no coincidence I'm here. My name is Talus, and I've been looking for you. Looking for me? Looking for the man who has an invitation to Chateau Hain, to be specific. Oh, that's what Edge was on about. You remember? Duke Prosper, the one who fawned all over you at the Champion of Kirkwall Banquet. He talked about a hunt. I doubt I'd go to such a thing. I was hoping you'd reconsider. The Duke is a delightful host. Or so I hear. Let me guess. This isn't just a social call. I need to relieve him of something he has no right to possess. And I 
can't do it alone. You want to rob him? Well, stealing from our legions is never wrong. Or so I've been told. This isn't how I was planning to ask you this. I was picturing an introduction with... less blood. What makes you think I steal things just because people ask me to? Well, I would. That's our Isabella. Such a giver. Uh, I may have talked you up a bit. Uh, maybe more than once. Wonderful. What? You'd rather I told everyone you were a mage? All I've heard is that you get things done. I'm hoping that's true. Why not? I hear the Orlesians make excellent cheese. <laughs> that's right. You're Ferelden, aren't you? We're not actually dog people, despite whatever rumors you've heard. I'll keep that in mind. So, tell me, what exactly is it you want to steal? A jewel. The Duke thinks it's valuable, and it is, just not in the way he believes. What's more, he shouldn't have it in the first place. He who wishes to walk on water must first learn to swim. Come with me to Chateau Hain. I'll explain everything on the way. If nothing else, you get fine wine and fancy company. But I hope you want more than that. Don't forget to loot the bodies. Do I ever? Do you really need to pillage the dead? Pillage and plunder is half the fun. Everywhere we go, people try to kill you. You've been responsible for that yourself on a few occasions. Why do you even bother going to meet people? Do they ever not try to kill you? The jewel we're after is called the Heart of the Many. Interesting name. Interesting jewel. All I care about is getting it away from the Duke. Here's the problem. The heart is in a vault, behind who knows what kind of traps. Protected by a private army of Orlesian Chevaliers. All inside a fortress that was designed to be impregnable. And let's not forget, it's on the side of a mountain, in the middle of nowhere. Surrounded by monsters. And dressed as dears, Prosper. When is this going to get started? Presently. All right, everyone. You all know the tradition, yes? The first to find and slay a wyvern wins the honors of the evening. And bragging rights, of course. Good luck to you all. Lovely day for a hunt, don't you agree? Very outdoorsy. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. These are honored guests. Please excuse Cahir. <laughs> a polite bodyguard is a contradiction in terms, or so I am told. A chasin? Here? Ah oh, yes, you are Ferelden, aren't you? You would know of his people. I know of Darkspawn too, but I generally don't let them breathe on me. No! Oh. <laughs> he breathes on all the guests. Think of it as a rite of passage. And who is this lovely specimen? You flatter me, Your Grace. And I see you brought a manservant or two, already armed and armored. Wonderful. I must say, your presence is a surprise. When we spoke at the banquet, you seemed uninterested when I mentioned our hunt. It's a favorite pastime of mine to find things and kill them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so I hear. At any rate, I won't keep you from the hunt. Wouldn't want you to fall behind the others, yes? I don't think I've ever encountered a wyvern before. And why would you? There are exceptional beasts, magnificent cousins to the mighty dragon. My only advice? Beware their poison. It's the deadliest thing about them as well as the most valuable. Their poison is valuable. Indeed. From it can be brewed aqua lucidius, a libation adored even by the Empress herself. You'd think she'd be against drinking poison, on principle. Her Imperial Majesty is many things, careful not being one of them. 
But here you are, wasting valuable time on questions. Do you wish the others to beat you to the prize? The sooner we get to the celebration, the happier I'll be. Oh, I quite agree. The festivities cannot come soon enough. Good luck to you, my lord. Remember, fortune favors the bold. Manservant. Should be elf servant, if you think about it. It's only a cover. I'd like to cover him with six feet. So these are the hunting grounds. I take it we run around randomly shouting, Here, Wyvern, Wyvern, Wyvern! We just need to look for signs and be careful. We get this over with, we get into the keep. And that's where the jewel is? That's where the jewel is. Champion of Kirkwall? Fancy title. The only one in Kirkwall not completely insane was considered. So, do you get a stipend? They let you rule the city? They gave me a medal. It's shiny. Is your family really from Kirkwall? I heard you were Ferelden. My mother's family is from Kirkwall. We left Ferelden during the Blight. Makes sense. Did you know the Warden? No. Someone told me he even came to Lothering, but if so, I never saw him. Foolish hound. Get back here. I am told weavers roost into trees. Oh, perhaps if I should them. Hunting for sport. Is it wrong of me to cheer for the Wyverns? Just ignore them. Let us find this dragon, Wyvern, whatever it is, and get this over with. Do we expect to find this thing? Do we even want to? The sooner we get the hunt over with, the sooner we'll be at the Chateau to finish this. Watch it. Gas hole. A what hole? A scholar might call it something else, but they don't know they're ghasts from a hole in the ground. That one actually hurts. Varric? You called? I notice you don't have a nickname for me. I call you Hawk. You've probably heard it once or twice. But that's my name. It's not like Daisy or Blondie. Sure. Chuckles. You want a nickname, I'll be happy to fix you up. Chuckles? That works. Not our prey, I suspect. Do dragons and wyverns even mix? I don't think so. So if we drop part of this in the right spot, we might lure a wyvern out to protect its territory? Good thought. Do that. Is that... wyverns mating? Could we mimic that? No. Oh, the sound. Right, yes. I can try that. I'm no hunter, but I'll wager that's a sign. There you go, Hawk. It seems we're on the trail. Someone alert the Empress. Another one. Oh, well, at least we're getting closer. <sighs> Looking for clues. Ah, Hawk stepped in the poopy. Until you wash that off, Hawk, I'm going to stay upwind. Ooh, nug bones. I wonder if a nug call would help attract a wyvern. You know a nug call? You go elbow deep in wyvern shit, and I'm the weird one? For a slaughtering ground, it's actually rather pretty. The Molfor family inherited this mountain from a clan of Navarran dragon hunters. Well, maybe inherited is the wrong word. What do you call it when you kill someone in order to get all their stuff? Adventuring! Just how long has this Wyvern hunt been going on? It's an annual tradition the Montfort began to keep the population down. They breed quickly. Elves, too. We're plucky that way. Well, there's no annual elf hunt. Yet. And the Orlesian nobility is only too happy to help out. It's a game. The Montforts are so close to the Empress, so anything that pleases them is worth pursuing. Plus, you should really try the Aquai Lucidius. 
You'll be seeing purple dragons in the sky for days. Forty crowns a bottle on the black market. Not that I've checked or anything. You were too willing to involve yourself in the affairs of others, Hawk. Each time you put yourself at risk, one day you will not be so lucky. You have a better idea? Guard what you have, keep your head low. Like a dragon, guarding my treasure hoard. That's not what I meant. Shall I eat passers-by? Perhaps I can demand virgin sacrifices. Even dragons are eventually slain, Hawk. I am yours as always. Right, the ideal spot to lure a wyvern, because we want that. Think we have enough bait to draw one in? More than enough. Careful, though, with this much bait, we might have our hands full. But it'd sure be fun. Lay it all out. I'm bringing the Duke a trophy to talk about. Yes! I mean, if you're sure. Let's get to it. We have a lot of stuff to lay out, for starters. Right, now the blood. What? The prey needs to be moving, doesn't it? Okay, I'll do the sound. You get ready. Don't look at me while I do this. Was that good? You want to do it? Didn't think so. the Ferelden Turnip. They say you are a champion of some backwater city in the east. Quite an achievement, I'm sure. I suggest you run along with your servants while you have the chance. This wyvern was mine to kill, not yours. Mine! 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 I paid good coin to be the one who wins this contest. It was my turn! Oh, I didn't realize the Duke was offering charity to his more useless guests. My mistake. I will not accept such talk from a backwater mongrel! You do realize Hawk can beat you like a rented mule with both hands tied behind his back. A rented mule would probably smell better. More insolence! From a knife ear this time! I can't take no more of this! Kill them all! We can't say the Wyvern was too much for them! Now, what is going on here? Prosper! This bloody bastard tried to steal my rightful kill! Now, is that any way to speak of the champion of Kirkwall, Baron? This is your fault for inviting a stinking turnip in the first place! Your mother would be ashamed! <laughs> <laughs> says the man whose mother has slept with half of Valchevin. My apologies. Arlange has always been a cheat. What would you have done with him? You're not suggesting... Why not? You believe Arlange would have stopped short of murder, given the chance? Something on your mind? Just let him go. He's not worth your time, Hawk. <laughs> My word, such mercy. He can't be more than he is, that's all. You've bested him. His blood smells worse than the Wyverns. Best keep it where it is. You hear that, Arlange? It behooves you to leave while you still can. I... Fine. I will go. Congratulations on finding the Wyvern. It looks like a fine one indeed. There will be a celebration in the Chateau Courtyard. Do attend when you're ready. That was very merciful. We should go to the chateau. Time to practice your table conversation. And my Orlesian accent. Are you married? Performing a survey? It's just you're the champion of Kirkwall. Big, important. I don't know. 
Just wondering if there's a little woman behind the throne. A fine question. Let's keep moving. I had a quick look around. There's one door into the castle that isn't under heavy guard. I hear a butt coming. I can't get it open. And believe me, I tried. Bent a nice set of lockpicks in that stupid door. One of the Duke's guardsmen must have the key. They wouldn't just lock themselves out of the castle. I hope. Why else would the party be in the garden? He probably has someone breaking a window right now. I could make that work, actually. But in the meantime, let's find someone with a key. We draw too much attention to ourselves. We should spread out. Talis and I will look for the key. Get out of sight, and watch for chevaliers or guards. Let's see what we can find out. Come on. Your Grace, this is the event of the season. <laughs> you have truly outdone yourself this time, Prosper. Ah, at last, the hero of the hunt. The champion of Kirkwall has the honor of first kill this day. To hunt the Wyvern on its own ground is to tempt fate. A terrible risk. But the prize... I present to you this belt crafted of fine Wyvern skin. Wear it well and accept the accolades your due. If anyone wants to laud my heroic achievements, I'm happy to listen. <laughs> well said. Do not mind, Leopold. My pet is always so temperamental before dinner. I don't suppose Leopold knows how to fetch or play dead. Alas, <laughs> he seems to think it's our duty to amuse him. My friends, I officially welcome you all to Chateau Hain. Enjoy a taste of Orlesian hospitality. Champion, what a surprise. Seneschal, dear, introduce me to your delicious friend. Serendipity, this is Sarah Hawk. Awkward. So, can we talk about something else now? The canapes are interesting, aren't they? Uh, and everyone here is so, um, upper class. What an astute observation. We should get moving. Lots of people to greet. It was a pleasure meeting everyone. Don't be a stranger. Pardon me, Sir Guard, but could we have a moment of your time? Anything for the Duke's honored guests. I've just encountered some Ferelden ban wearing the same outfit as me. I need to change immediately. Utter humiliation, sir. His lordship isn't fit to be seen in this condition. A matter of social life or death. Get me into the castle now. I can see this is a matter of utmost importance. But I'm afraid I do not have the power to help you. Can I help you? I've been stung by a bee! I think it's swelling! Maker, am I dying? The swelling is almost as big as your head! Don't just stand there, man! Do something before it's too late! If I die... Make sure the world knows... I died at Chateau Hain. There's nothing I can do for you, monsieur. I don't have a key to get into the chateau. Champion, it's good to see you again. I'm sure you don't remember me. We met when King Alistair made his trip to Kirkwall. I'm Ban Tegan Guerin. You think I often intervene between Meredith and foreign heads of state? Uh, wait. Actually, yes, that's pretty normal for me. You remind me a great deal of someone I once knew. Who is this man, Tegan? I beg your pardon. Isolde, this is the champion of Kirkwall. Hawk, allow me to present our lesser Isolde. Tigan, I must speak with you right now about the horrible thing Dulcie de Lancé said. I... of course. Please, excuse me, Monsieur Hawk. A pleasure to meet you. If you speak to Ban Perrin, I don't advise you to bring up the Chantry or Knickers. Excellent. Join us, champion.
We were just discussing your famous confrontation with the Kunari leader. You must tell us the tale. It was the talk of Denerim for months. You have never been to Chateau N, yes? Please, allow me to give you this caprice. It's an old custom. My mother spoke often of Leandra. They were great friends when they were young. It's a shame neither could be here. Where are your knickers this time, Perrin? <laughs> Shut up, you painted shrew! What entertaining manners our guests have. <laughs> Don't you agree, Hawk? My friend here has been dying to speak with you privately. She's talked of nothing else. Uh, for you, Hawk, of course. But, yes, the, the Regency wallpaper is quite lovely. I agree. It, and I... <laughs> I wouldn't say... Uh, oh, forget it. That Wyvern blood has some kick, doesn't it? This is officially my worst night ever. Not Lord Cyril's type. Maybe he just doesn't like elves. Or... women. In either case, you're the answer. He has the key. Go get it. What? It's your turn, Hawk. Go on. Seems like I could save time and just assume a plan will fall apart from the start. It hasn't fallen apart. It's just, uh, not entirely cooperating with reality. Just... go try something. So, good luck with that. Thanks. Tell the elf that her pleas are for nothing. She's pretty enough, I suppose. No doubt there are some men who would like that sort of thing. I thought you might be a man of refined tastes. I heard the same of you, Monsieur Hawk. <clears throat> Why don't we talk again after the party? You have it! Tell me you have it! Was there ever any doubt? Good, then we can find the jewel and get this over with. You don't sound that excited. It's simply been a long time coming. That's all. This jewel is that important to you? Yes. I suppose it is. I want this part of my life finished. So soon? I heard they were just about to bring out the candied nug. I want to see that. Let me ruin it for you. It tastes like forgotten aspirations. You have crushed all my hopes and dreams. Let's find that door and get inside. Hard in Hightown too. Even harder. Varric will want to know about this. Where did the Duke get this? This was part of a Fog Warrior's amulet. Fenris has mentioned them. I never thought I'd see one. Something wrong. I don't know. Yes. Don't fret, my dear. I see the party's moved indoors. It's not over yet. But it is over. I knew who you were the moment you arrived. Assassin. Assassin? I knew it. You... did? Have you met my friends? All of them are crazy, and most of them are killers. Clever man. Have you also deduced that your elven friend is... Cunari? Everyone's got to have a job, don't they? My! She chose you well, didn't she? Look, I came to stop the heart from doing something we will all regret. He didn't. Leave him out of this. And waste all the effort I spent luring you here before the heart's arrival? Don't be foolish. Asse hasatra mas. Mas avas traso kolon. Take them away. The elf was Kunari. And the dwarf has no beard. I know it made no sense to me either. Maybe they cut her horns off. 
The Kunari are not a race. They are a religion. What I don't understand is why a Kunari agent would try to kill one of her own people. And why involve the champion? Excellent questions. I expect answers to match. I live to please. I have a question. When the Duke told you what I was, you said you didn't care. Was that true? Of course. You could have told me all along. I wouldn't have minded. Really? No, not really. Look on the bright side. The Duke didn't have us killed. That's gotta be worth something, right? Unless he has something worse planned. Like drowning us in pickle juice? I hope not. I hate pickles. I'm not so sure the Duke is a pickle sort of man. Really? I got the opposite impression completely. I think we're to be tortured by a giant elf in black leather named Maria. <laughs> I don't forgive you. I am sorry. This didn't work out like I'd planned. Obviously. What was your plan exactly? The one I expected to find is named Salit, a member of the Ben Hasrath, the heart of the Menning. I was told he's here to sell secrets to the Orlesians, and I came to stop him. I... suppose I was misinformed. You mentioned the heart of the many before, but you said it was the name of the jewel. It's also what Ben Hasrith means. Some people say we're enforcers, that keep the Kunari in line, but that's not it. It's... hard to explain. Try. We're... The soul of the Kune. We keep its spirit alive and protect it, from both outside and from within. Not every Kinari agrees, nor do they always do what is best for all. The Ben Hasrath remind us of our common goal. You make them seem almost peaceful. It's not always meant to end in violence. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. I probably don't sound very convincing. The way you're talking, it sounds like you're one of these, Ben Hasrath. I am, or I was. Whether I ever am again, I guess that remains to be seen. Is that why you're here? To redeem yourself? Not to them. Doubt is the path one walks to reach faith. To leave the path is to embrace blindness and abandon hope. Another Kunari proverb? She who swallows wisdom in tiny chunks avoids choking. So you came here to stop this Salit from betraying your people? You probably won't believe me, but this isn't a political mission. It's... personal. What do you mean? Salit was my best Rathari, the one who recruited me into the Ben Hasrith. My tutor. He's the one who saw my potential. Convinced me that I could make a difference. It doesn't matter now. But you said he was selling secrets. He is. Or at least he intends to. One last act of defiance. I can't let him do that. Not when he'll hurt so many others in the process. You mean he'll hurt other Kunari? Not every Kunari is a soldier, you know. There are tens of thousands of farmers, artisans, craftsmen. People who have never hurt anyone. People whose only crime is living. They don't deserve what he's going to do to them. But it's more than my duty to stop Salit. It is my moral obligation. So, everything you told me was a lie? Not everything. So I just missed the part where you're one of the people I drove out of Kirkwall? You don't need horns to embrace the Kune. What you need is a purpose. A belief in unity, in improving the lot, not only for your own people, but for everyone. You're right. I can think of many people who would be improved by the loss of a head. You're joking, but you're also right. That doesn't mean it's the solution for everyone. So everyone else just loses a foot, maybe a big toe. Being Kinari doesn't automatically mean you're a zealot. Most Kinari don't even understand humans, why you act like you do. 
But I grew up among you. I understand perfectly well. So, did you really involve me just because I had an invitation? You were the only one on the invitation list who wasn't a personal friend of the Montfort family. And you're also Basili An, remember? An outsider worthy of respect. You know about that? Of course. If there was anyone a Kinari should or would consider going to for help, it's you. Ah, uh, suppose the good news is with all this extra time I can learn to knit. Could you make me a sweater? No. <sighs> the first order of business is getting out of here before His Grace decides we would taste good in the soup. Or whatever he has planned. Any ideas? Oh, I'm sure the others will be along any minute now. And here we are again, for the fourth time. Fifth, I think. What do we do now? Play Diamondback and wait for Hawk to find us? <sighs> That's it. I'm officially tired of waiting to be rescued. Why didn't you just do that before? You said your friends were coming. There you are. Were you hurt? What happened? Let's get out of here. So, back through the castle, then? There's a better way than fighting through the Duke's entire army. I'll show you. Here's your equipment talk. Laying around in a locked chest. Then we should head for the caves. That's the way out I planned to take us through, originally. Unless you want to carve your way out through the Duke's army. We'll see. It's up to you which way you want to go, Hawk. I'll help you either way. I assume we get out first and deal with this Kunari later. Just let me get you out of here safely. I owe you that much. Are you still talking about that? What? It's not every day I screw up so royally. I am new to this. Why can't you ever make friends with anyone normal, Hawk? I suppose that means we'll have an army upon us soon. Look at the bright side. They'd get stuck trying to squeeze between the walls. And this array of sculptures is known as scurvy bastards reflecting on modern life. After much reflection, they appear to have come to the conclusion... Well, shit. We'll probably never know how this came to be here. Look at this, Hawk. I think these are landmarks scratched on the back. A map of some sort? See? Caves. Just like I said. Are you sure this goes somewhere? Other than down? Yes. Sort of. I stole old plans from the Fourth Blight. This was a retreat, they called it. At any rate, there's an exit that leads out onto the mountainside. That's your way out. More of these things? There's a lake? In the middle of the mountain? The retreat needed to house hundreds of people during the Blight, if not thousands. Can't do that without fresh water. So they built a lake. Oh, that. I have no idea. So it's underground. They happen. Do only dwarves know these things? That's odd. I could swear there was... Trust me. Talis! The Circle are not the only ones who know how to break a mage. The Duke is a fool. His enemies are posturing guileless lot, but you are worth testing. Prosper can fight his own battles, and I shall choose mine. Missed! That would have been a nice shot, too. You didn't think I was leaving, did you? Oh, that was bracing. I thought you'd left. Nonsense. I found a way around. I said I'd get you out of here, and I meant it. Let's keep going. The exit can't be much further. You frightened me. Me? Before we found you, there was a moment when I... Don't do that again. 
There, an exit. And there's the way out. See? I told you I had a plan. It was a good plan. The kind that had an escape and everything. Not a monster lair. That is a good sign. So you could go. There are, however, other options. Hmm. Oh, I suppose there's room for a cot, but where would we put the dinner table? You've been so reasonable since we were captured. I'm hoping that hasn't changed. What Salit is going to do will harm so many innocents. My people, as well as yours. It's my duty to stop him. Even so, I can't do it alone. Not anymore. What did you have in mind, exactly? Well, we could go back, maybe have some tea with the Duke, get to know one another. Then, just as he starts to trust us, you slip a bag over his head, and we drag him to Antiva. No, not Antiva, you fiend! Or, we could find out when Salit is arriving, and stop him before it's too late. After everything you've already done, why would I help you again? Because... I've got your nose. The Kune taught you that. If I were following the Kune, I would actually have your nose. I suppose that doesn't help. If I had my way, you would never have been this involved in the first place. You know how to argue. But my options are? Follow or don't. It's pretty much that simple. There are two paths open to us. I hope you really do understand what's at stake. Thank you, Hawk. I... Thank you. So we are helping the Kunari. We're helpers. I told you, there are many innocent lives at stake as well. And how many innocents have the Kunari slaughtered? Ugh. I knew you were a worthless traitor the moment I laid eyes on you. Baron Arlange, so nice to see you again. You filthy turnip! You humiliated me! Just how many of these creatures live on this mountain? Be thankful they're not high dragons. Hmm, good point. You know, I saw a crossbow just like Bianca in the market the other day. What? Why didn't you tell me? You already have a crossbow. I don't want to replace her, but she could use a friend. Someone to sit on the mantle with. Right. Don't listen to him, Bianca. You deserve happiness just like anyone else. Mercenaries. A sign of your man, I assume? Talvashoth. Like Salit, but for sale. He must be close. Atas Shokra, Ben Hasroth. Ebala Maras, Bendar Salit Asit. Satarith Barak. Alat Kufir Abbas. Atasravan. Pana Hedan. Salit is already here. He's meeting with the Duke at the base of the mountain. Then we're going the wrong way. We need to get down there before it's too late. Let's get this over with, Canary. Before your assassins find us. Already I regret agreeing to spare them. I have chosen my path. That choice should not... Farshera! I am here to facilitate your deal with the Empress. Nothing more.
Well... Names, Your Grace. It's a list of names. What is the meaning of this? You asked for a weapon. I am providing it. We expected the formula for black powder, dreadnought plans, a map of Cunandar, anything. This, this is useless. Your Grace. Champion. I should have known you would turn up. I have an excellent sense of dramatic timing. And good hair. Joke while you can. You will not find it funny for long. Tell us. I said I would stop you, Salite. And I said I would slay you if you tried. If anyone is to do any slaying, it will be me. <laughs> I would have tried begging for mercy, but that's just me. You... bastard! Darn it! Thank you for the lovely party. I'll treasure the belt. And that's why you don't waste your last minute monologuing. Looks like the Duke... has fallen from grace. Atash Varin Kata. If the Duke only knew what he nearly had in his grasp. Thank you. There's no way I could have done this without your help. What's the scroll? This is a list of agents throughout Thetis. Kinari, like myself. Many of them have children, family, friends. They're people you wouldn't suspect. Some have even left a Kuhn behind. But if this list fell into human hands, they, and everyone they know, would be killed. The Arakun believes they knew the risks. But what about the innocents? I... I couldn't let this happen. You didn't mention that Salit was a friend of yours. He trained me. I suppose, in a way, he saved me. I owed him a better death. So what now? You aren't just going to leave, are you? <laughs> you think I would fit into your merry entourage? We're hardly merry. It's true. Some of them hardly ever crack a smile. Some of us are downright broody. Or so clever we could just die. <laughs> Maybe some other time, Hawk. I still have a few things to do, but... I am grateful. I want you to know that. That's what I do. Feed the sick, cure the poor, pat the hungry on the head. Kill nasty or lesions. Are there any other kind? Oh, before I forget. That was going to be the heart of the many. You'd find a jewel while I'd go off and find Salit, and be back before anyone was the wiser. I suppose nothing ever goes like we plan, does it? Take care of yourself, Hawk. Maybe we'll meet again, sometime. Let me guess. You haven't seen Talis since that day. A safe assumption, given her nature. And who is left to appease or lay after a duke's murder at the hands of the champion of Kirkwall? Prosper invited it by dealing with Talvashoth, possibly under orders from Empress Selene. Imagine the scandal if that was known. <laughs> if you believe a Kunari agent. 
Well, that's the difficult part, isn't it? I don't know why Hawk helped Talus. I suppose she was pretty for a Kunari. <laughs> Whatever the reason, I doubt it's the last we've seen of her. But what do I know? I just tell stories. Champion, welcome. Always a pleasure. And may I say that outfit was a wise choice. I do not wear this armor for the way it looks, Champion. No? That's far too flattering to be an accident. Compliments are unnecessary. This is no social call. There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more... difficult. Since you're turning to me, should I assume the Templars all suddenly disappeared? The apostates are being sheltered by their families. Some have been reluctant to talk to Templars. But you are another matter. The people of Kirkwall trust you, Champion. They will be more honest for you than for us. I'm not doing your job for you. Let me be very clear on this matter, then. You are an apostate. One who operates freely only because you have been a protector to this city. If I suspect that is no longer the case, then I may decide your status needs to change. If I do nothing, I'm a threat. That's ridiculous. Apathy is a threat, champion. You do not have the luxury of inaction. With the influence you wield in this city, champion, it is crucial you understand just what we face. Talk to these mages' families. Investigate for yourself whether they need be recaptured. Seems like you're giving me a lot of rope. Trying to hang me with it. I'm trying to solve a difficult problem in as gentle a fashion as I dare. You do not approve of my methods, but perhaps you will change your mind when you see firsthand how dangerous these apostates are. And what would it take to change your mind? Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Oh, greetings, Messer. Meryl, what are you doing here? We're here about Huon, Misa. Oh. When the Templars came, I told them the truth. I hadn't seen Huon in ten years. But after they left, he... He came to me. He wanted me to hide him. I used to dream of him returning, but not like this. He's changed, and I don't know him anymore. I sent him away. Did he hurt you? Only broke my heart. How has Huon changed? He was obsessed with showing everyone true elven power. He frightened me. Do you know where Huon went after you sent him away? I don't know. He disappeared. But... but Huon said he would return to take me away from this forever. Empty promises. I don't know what he means, and I am afraid of him, Messer. Would it help if I returned? I'll make sure you're safe. I would be grateful. Huon said he would come to the alienage soon, at nightfall. Are you... are you going to arrest him? I think he needs help. Maybe the Circle will be able to heal whatever troubles him. Huon. <laughs> Hush, love. 
Don't be afraid. Your blood will bring new life to our people. Oh. She was so beautiful. Someday, I'd like to go one week without meeting an insane mage. Just one week. I'm a visionary. I've seen our destiny. I know what fate holds for the elves. The humans keep us down because they're afraid of the magic within us. Look at the magic Lisa held inside her. She was just afraid to use it. It's always the same. Always. You look lovely tonight, my lady. Oh, you are too kind. I am so honored to have the champion in my home. I will call for refreshments. Talia? Oh, she is so slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. You're extremely cheery for a woman whose son is wanted by the Templars. Emil? Oh, yes. The Templars were asking about our poor boy recently. I haven't seen Emil since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am sure Emil will turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Dulce! What have you done? You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume! Darling! Don't darling me, Dulce. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume! Darling! We have guests! Don't stop on my account. This is fascinating. Uh, I didn't mean to lie to you, champion. I... I barely saw Emil. I didn't think it was worth mentioning. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. New life? His new life is spent in Lowtown taverns, getting drunk on cheap wine. It's a wonder the Templars haven't found him yet. Help us, please, champion. Emil is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. It looks like the Comtesse is in greater danger of expiring at the moment. Yes, Dulce. She's high-strung. An acquaintance spied Emile in the Hanged Man not long ago. He should still be there. The Hanged Man? Oh, but that place is filthy. Come, Dulce. Perhaps you should lie down. Oh, but the hanged man is so filthy. <laughs> it is filthy. They are so Orlesian. Emile de Lancet? Hey, how do you know my name? Didn't Nena tell you? I gave her my lance signet ring in exchange for a kiss. And tonight, she's going to make me a man. The Comte was right. How did the Templars miss him? The fool doesn't understand how to lay low. Round the drinks on me. I'm Emil, as you know. And you are. Feeling very sorry for you. I'm also helping the Templars hunt a mage named Emile de Lancet. And here you are. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because, uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, suave. Uh... I've only told people in the tavern. 
and only women. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six! For 20 years I was locked up. I never had a real drink or, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well, not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. This is an act. The mage makes himself out to be harmless. I just don't want to die a virgin. You can't run. The Templars will find you eventually. I... I'll make you a deal, all right? Give me one night. Just one night. One of the tavern girls, Nella, agreed to lie with me. I even paid for a room. Please, let me have this. You can take me back in chains after. Why don't you start small and leave the chains for when you're more experienced? Huh? Just go do whatever. Well? I'm not going to tell you about it. Ah, that was utterly worth it. Back to the Templars. I'm led to believe that both Huon and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. Emile de Lancé, however, turned himself in. Rather happily, I might add. I would have had him executed immediately. But the boy's father made an impassioned appeal on his behalf. What say you, champion? Do you believe Emile to be dangerous? He was never a danger to anyone but himself. Very well. Emile will keep his life, though I will watch him closely. The blame for everything these mages did can be laid at your feet. Look at the way you treat them. Is it any wonder they're so desperate? You don't think the mages are even a little responsible for their crimes? I have heard this argument often. Maybe they are not corrupt. Maybe they deserve leniency. Maybe they can be saved. There are maybes enough to fill half the graves in Kirkwall. I will not add more to the pile. Enough. I have not the patience to argue with you further. Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire. Which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her. But I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What are they doing? All I know is numerous mages have left the Circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our knight commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. She does like to add one and one and get eleven, doesn't she? Sometimes a hundred and eleven. I've heard rumors, whispers of a meeting tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. So, I shouldn't slip my wrists and dance naked under the moonlight just to fit in? I would not recommend it. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not. Or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping. Not after what I went through. Didn't I save your life? You did. Believe me. I still dream about those blood mages. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd never have let them kidnap anyone I knew was one of yours. I don't like where this is heading. They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about. As a hostage. 
We just got word they took some lad from the Grey Wardens. Your friends don't know much about my relationship with my brother, do they? They... they should have just talked to you. I know you're a reasonable person. You have to see how dangerous Meredith is. Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Is Thrask the one running this conspiracy? He's the one who brought us together. For six years, he's been working, one mage, one Templar at a time, teaching us we don't have to hate each other. He showed us Meredith isn't the only way. Is this whole thing to oust the Knight Commander? She needs to go, don't you see? We need a real Viscount and Templars who protect mages, not massacre them. Just look what Thrask accomplished. Mages and Templars working together. Isn't that what we all want? I thought you'd be the last person to join a conspiracy of apostate mages. They aren't apostates. They want the circle. They want it to work like it's supposed to. To protect them. The mages aren't the problem. Meredith is. The Knight Commander needs to go. That's what Thrask says. Without her, we have a chance at peace. What are you going to do to Thrask? To me? This isn't going to end well. If I were you, I'd stay out of range. Thank you. I'm really sorry you were the one. Your friends should be fine. They were going to our base on the wounded coast. The ruins there. I'll go to Marsha, try to wait this out. I don't think I can serve the Templars while Meredith is still in charge. Well, here you are. You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. Are you part of this plot against Meredith? You could say so. That bitch threw me out of the Templars for carrying letters from a mageling to his sweetheart. She's got her sword so far up her ass, she can cut you with her tongue. Meredith does seem to have a serious case of the crazies, yes. But is she wrong? I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give him a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Your friends are right. Without Meredith, Kirkwall can be at peace again. It is never that simple. I'd cheer to see her ship to Val Royo. But I don't have the stomach to turn against all that's right and natural to do it. I suppose it was too much to hope that you wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When I realized you had risked your life lying to protect those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. Your cause is just. But I take issue with your methods. I should have known you recognize the threat Meredith poses. I am sorry for any distress we caused you or your friends. Let the hostage go. No. The boy dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. Grace, do you really want to do this? After everything we've done for you? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith. What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. Whatever you want. Just tell me. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. I thought you turned your back on blood magic when you saw what happened to Decimus. This isn't right, Grace. The champion tried to help us. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself.
forget the hostage. Kill the champion! I knew she was still alive, but I didn't know Thrask was working with her. When I saw her today, it brought everything back. Everything I saw Decimus do. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold him. There's no other way to wake him up. <coughs> Get out of my... What? Where am I? I thought you were better than this. A couple of lousy Templars and you're down. I had no reason to think they'd turn on me. Thank you, brother. It seems I am again in your debt. And Shadow. They're meeting in here, Sir Cullen. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The Champion's a good man, sir. He tried to solve things peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hmm. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, Champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, Champion? She should consider reinstating Samson. When it came down to it, he showed where his heart is. True. Samson, you have done us a great service. Do you wish to take up the shield once more? M more than anything, Knight Captain, sir. Then I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take a look at this. A blade of mercy. I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. So they sell these things at every market stand in Minrathus? Hardly. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fondly. The slave trade is still in operation in the Imperium. It varies from one Archon to the next. One outlawed it many years ago. He was quickly assassinated. Tevinter would crumble without slaves. The Imperium's elite know no other way. Seems like a slave rebellion would end that. There are rebellions all the time, actually. Most of them end poorly. The Senate always unites when faced with sedition. One day, things will change. Then the Magisters will see just how fragile their hold is. Doesn't the Chantry forbid mages to rule over men? <laughs> ah, yes. Magic is meant to serve man, and not rule over him. In the Imperium, they say that means magic should serve the greater good, which they claim the Magisters do. Do not believe it. What do the Magisters do that's so bad? What you call the Circle of Magi rules the Imperium. They control the Chantry, as well as the Templars. They claim the Magisters are governed by holy law, but they are the law. They do as they please. All of them. So they all use forbidden magic? The more powerful the mage, the higher he rises in the Senate. He makes the laws, he determines what is acceptable. Everyone who wishes to compete must do the same, or be crushed. Perhaps it wasn't always this way, but it is now. I heard that the Imperium has been at war with the Kunari for decades. Ever since the Kunari landed on the island of Saharan, yes. Eighty years ago? Perhaps more. The Archon demanded aid from the rest of Thedas. It didn't get him far. They've been at war a long time. The Kunari only ever wanted Saharan, which they have. The Imperium has made numerous attempts to retake the island, without real success. 
I believe the Canari are saving their strength, building a massive fleet. When they wish true war, we will know. Are the Canari that strong? They once fought all the lands of Thedas to a standstill. If they wanted to conquer the Imperium, they would. From what I saw on Sir Heron, they will not relent. They believe even more strongly than the Magisters that they are in the right. The blade is yours, if you want it. For me? Yes. I think I'd like that. I'll think of the irony as I wield it. Thank you, Hawk. Champion! Thank the Maker you've come! What's happened? First Enchanter Orsino got into a terrible argument with the Knight Commander. He stormed off to bring the matter before the Grand Cleric, but the Knight Commander gave chase. I fear there will be blood. Wonderful. Take me to them. I will have the tower searched, top to bottom! You cannot do that! You have no right! I have every right! You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Do not trifle with me, mage. My patience is at an end. A wonder that I never saw it begin. The way you two carry on, people will talk. This does not involve you, champion. I called him here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. Is there any truth to what she's saying? These are only her latest accusations, nothing more. And what if she does not find what she's looking for? How much further will she go to root out something that isn't there? The Champion knows better than anyone how deep the Circle's corruption goes. I must find the source. You both set quite the example for your people. You know that. What other option do we have? Tell me, Champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. Some of us want exactly what you want, Meredith. We're not the enemy. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so! I know, and it breaks my heart to do it. But we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminal, while those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The Circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders. What have you done? There can be no turning back. Why didn't she listen to me? Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I removed the chance of compromise, because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the Circle is to be executed immediately. 
The Circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her! Help us stop this madness! And I call on you to keep order. After what just occurred, you cannot deny what must be done. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. I could have stopped you. No. This had to happen. The Circle is an injustice. In many places beyond Kirkwall. The world needs to see. Elthina is not the Circle. She was a good woman, and you murdered her! You fool! You've doomed us all! We were already doomed. A quick death now, or a slow one later. I'd rather die fighting. You may have turned everyone against the mages now. Was anyone ever with us? It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. This won't be easy, but I'll defend you. But what of Anders? Hawk, if you do this, I don't know if I can follow. After all the evil that magic has wrought, you would still support them. You sure about this? Even you might not win this fight. I know we can do this. I believe in you, Hawk. Oh, shit. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Isabella? Think carefully, champion. Stand with them and you share their fate. I can live with that. Thank the Maker. It is a mistake, but I won't abandon you. I see what you are trying to do, and my place... is with you. You are a fool, champion. Kill them all! I will rouse the rest of the Order! Go! Get to the gallows before it's too late! So it's come to this. I don't know if we can win this war, champion, but... Thank you. I will leave your... friend for you to deal with. I must return to the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. Did that spirit tell you to do this? No. When we merged, he ceased to be. We are one now. I can no more ignore the injustice of the Circle than he could. I might have understood if you'd only told me. You condone this. The brutal death of an innocent woman of faith, someone you knew. Who trusted you? I wanted to tell you. But what if you stopped me? Or worse, what if you wanted to help? I couldn't let you do that. The world needs to see this. Then we can all stop pretending the circle is a solution. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. Opinions. If I'd been in that chantry today, would you be waffling? You know what must be done. Bold plan. Well, I thought so. He wants to die. Kill him and be done with it. Belief is no excuse. Sincerity does not justify this. He should come with us. Do what he can to put things right. I think I'm sick of mages and Templars. Whatever you do, just do it. Help me defend the mages. You mean... stay with you? I didn't think you'd let me. But if you do, I'll fight the Templars. Damned right I will. No! You cannot let this abomination walk free. He dies, or I am returning to Starkhaven. And I will bring such an army with me on my return that there'll be nothing left of Kirkwall for these Maleficarum to rule. Do not interfere, Sebastian. I thought I knew you, Hawk. 
I gave up on Starkhaven to serve the Maker, but he has turned his back on Kirkwall for harboring heretics like this. I swear to you, I will come back and find your precious Anders. I will teach him what true justice is. Thank you for my life. I'll try not to make such a mess of it this time. How invigorating. We'd all best get to the gallows. And quick. It's going to be quite a show. Carver! I've been looking everywhere for you. I thought you were dead. Here to cheer on the Templars, are you? Look, I know what happened in the Deep Roads. You saved my life, and I didn't even thank you. But you're the only family I have left. I have to stand by you. Just say the word and you'll have my blade. I thought the Order was supposed to be neutral. I'm a Warden because of you. I blamed you for a long time, but... You saved more than my life. I am so much more than I was. This is what I was meant to be. And I won't thank you by doing nothing while you start a war. Your blade would be welcome. The Hawk Brothers together again, huh? Just like old times. First Enchanter! Champion! You've survived, thank the Maker! We must- And here you are! Let us speak, Meredith! Before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect! I will entertain a surrender. Nothing more. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. I was kind of hoping for a happy ending. I doubt we'll be seeing that. I'm disappointed in you, Champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. Nervous Hawk? The only part of this that worries me is, where are we going for the victory celebration? The Hanged Man was wrecked. <laughs> I think looters hit it before the fighting started. Nobody wants to pillage sober. You know me, Hawk. I'm not one for long goodbyes. I'm not sure we should be doing this. Helping dangerous people run amok. But I'm with you. We face down worse things than this, Varric. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I hate it when you say that. What do you say we put an end to all this waiting around and go meet destiny? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or there's more to do, or... Does all this feel like a dream to you, too? In a moment, I'll look down and see I have no pants on. 
<laughs> the champion of Kirkwall going to battle naked. Why can't I ever have that dream? Hawk, before we go, I... Meryl, whatever happens, I'm proud to have known you. Shouldn't you be halfway to Tevinter by now? Maker's breath. Take off with a priceless relic once, and you never hear the end of it. Your life would have been easier if you had just cut me out of it. But you stood by me. You defied the Canari, and fought their Arashok for me, even after I betrayed you. You came back to help me. Defending you from the Arashok was the least I could do. And don't think I'm not grateful for that. I know I don't exactly inspire confidence, but I swear, I'm going to come through for you this time. When you look for me, I'll be fighting at your side. I underestimated you, Hawk. I really thought when it was put to the test, you'd have to kill me. You truly are the leader we've been waiting centuries for. Oh, stop. You're making me blush. Thank you for standing by me. We would not have reached this point without you. May the Maker bring us victory. Maybe if he shows his approval, the world will finally be ready to change. Brother, you always seem to find a way to make my life difficult. I should be hunting archdemons, but... it feels right to be at your side again. This is where you should be. The Brother's Hawk. That won't always be the case. You know that. I've seen a lot of things. The world out there. It needs help. But I can start here. Who'd have thought, huh? Two nobodies from Lothering. I wish... I wish Mother could have seen us like this. I don't know what she would think about the rest, but... Don't make me tear up in front of the others, you jackass. Rubbed your collar with onions. Aveline's idea. I'm proud to call you brother. That's gone unsaid too long. In war, victory, champion. And whatever else may come. Onions on my collar. I don't know what you're talking about. What a mess. You really put loyalty to the test, you know. Donick has kept the guard protecting civilians. Meredith will have no support from them. With luck, well, let's just say we need some luck. Starting to doubt me? Never. Almost never. Let's keep the damage to a minimum, shall we? I've walked away from too many wastelands for one lifetime. Here I am, about to defend these mages in hopeless battle. You lead me to strange places, Hawk. I'll take you to stranger places than this. Just watch. A tempting offer. I... May not get the chance to say this again. Meeting you was the most important thing that ever happened to me, Hawk. Promise me you won't die. I can't bear the thought of living without you. I don't make that promise, unless you do. Nothing is going to keep me from you. Bianca and I are ready when you are, my friend. I'm ready, Letheline. Lead the way. I should concentrate on getting ready. Anything left to be said can wait till we're not on the brink of disaster. The time for talk is over. The battle is about to begin. On your order, brother. We'll make a difference, whatever the outcome. We'll show them, Hawk. We always do. The battle awaits us, Hawk. Are you prepared, champion? I believe the battle is almost upon us. You don't believe there's a chance of winning this fight? With you on our side? Perhaps. But even if we win, what then? More Templars would come, with even larger armies. We are apostates now. Our only hope lies in the circles elsewhere in Thedas. They could rise up with us against this injustice. I assure you, however, we will find sympathy nowhere else. Let the games begin. Very well. You will need to give orders to your companions, and I will do the same for my people. What about me? What should I do? 
We could use some healing or any other spells you can offer. I'll try to keep you in sight then. Meryl, attack from a distance. Stay out of the fight as much as you can. I will. Aveline, charge in whenever you see an opening. Very well. Isabella, I want you to fight from stealth. Keep them confused. <laughs> Sounds like fun. So, this is it. Some of you are worried. Maybe I am too, but I'm not staying long enough to find out. What I know is that I don't like being cornered, and I can fight harder scared than they can angry. We're getting out, and I'm buying when we do. Champion, it is beginning. Get it all. Why don't they just drown us as infants? Why wait? Why give us the illusion of hope? I refuse to keep running. I won't wait for her to kill me. I hope you aren't giving up without taking a shot at Meredith. I am not giving up. I am giving in. Quentin's research was too evil, too dangerous, so I put it aside. But I see now there is no other way. Meredith expects blood magic? Then I will give it to her. Make her help us all. Capable of anything. We cannot afford to remain here. Give them something to scare their grandkids with. Lead the way. I am yours. And here we are, champion. At long last. I imagine you've wanted to be rid of me for some time. I bear you no ill will. You've done this to yourself. You were never part of this circle, and I tolerated that. But in defending them, you've chosen to share their fate. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. But this is too far. I will not allow insubordination! We must stay true to our path! Andraste's dimpled butt cheeks. You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. The idol poisoned Bartrand's mind in the end. He was weak. Whereas I am not. All of you! I want him dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I 
don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's lost it. Just like Bartrand. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. And do not falter! Maker, your servant begs you for the strength to defeat this evil! spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars could be defied. He had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the champion's side. Well, all of us except for Fenris. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. A new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith provoked the Circle. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there... It might never have even gone that far. I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, 
Haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Beric. Please, if you know where the champion is, you must tell me. He is a hero. A man that the mages would listen to. Someone who was there at the beginning. The champion could stop this madness before it's too late. He may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Oh, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So... Did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. <laughs>